Welcome to the OSRs podcast where we have RuneScape content creators talking about some good old RuneScape content. I am Mitt Mad Cow, one of the hosts, followed by... What's going on, boys? Rakes as always. And it's me, Vice Cub. Hello. Hey. So today, we are truly blessed with the longest neck in the entire United <laughs> Kingdom. The man, the myth, the legends, the neck creole reincarnated in real, lo- real life, aka Mr. Solo Mission. How are you doing, man? How's it going? Doing bro? great, bro. That was a great intro. I'm very impressed by that. <laughs> Yo, I, I wish Good I, shit, man. I, I wish welcome, I had the welcome. Jurassic theme park music playing during that. <laughs> usually, yeah, usually you go into like the the achievements and the because you know you got Solo doing Dead Man mode, crushing it, PvP Iron Man, all this stuff. He's like, nah, I just got a long neck. Welcome. Right, <laughs> let, me, let me do a proper intro, for him. Mr. Solo, <laughs> Mr. Solo Mission. He is the jack of all trades. You know. PVM skilling, PvP, he he knows it all. So mm-hmm. yeah, this is true, dude. I was, I do you know what? Solo mission does live in my my head rent free. I will not lie. I know it was his birthday a few days ago, so happy belated happy birthday, belated mate. Birthday. Happy I birthday, hope man. that you got many shiny rune boots IRL, and I hope you have a nice collection in that wardrobe behind you. Um, Cheers, bro. Also, <laughs> I've lost it. I don't know what I'm trying <laughs> okay, to say. Okay, so hey, we're it's gonna... good to have you. How are you doing, man? Yes. Yeah, I'm good. I'm doing great. Recently died on the PP Hardcore Man book, you know. Today. Oh, today. Me. So it's it's, still it's just a the start of a new journey. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Rediscovering so, yourself. What what what's in the uh what what's on the plans next, bro? What are you doing? Are you gonna like remake a new one or No, nah, I'm I'm definitely not gonna remake. I did like laser stuff on that one. I think as long as I got Inferno Cape, I would never remake on one. Yeah, you've done a lot I of don't that know. one. Uh, like it depends on Jagex, really. Like Devon Mode, Leagues Three, maybe even Group Iron Man. We'll see. Yeah. Well, they no, just sure. released coming, coming soon. <laughs> they just released uh, a new Wildy blog. Yeah. We'll be covering deep, pretty much all this yeah. podcast. Uh, but before we jump into the Wildy blog, I think topics. I think Solo had a little something he wanted to bring up about likes. Was it YouTube? Yeah, likes? I definitely do. So we uh, always have a like uh, goal on this podcast, and this week. If we manage to get a thousand likes, there will be a 100 oh. mil giveaway <laughs> on the next video. 100 mil <laughs> Who's giving the money away? Who's giving the money away? Yo, you know what? <laughs> Bro, you know what? I'll, I'll give the 100 mil, all right? Yo, this right? Hey, nah, money. wait, hold up. Hold up. This is a terrible deal. Okay, listen. Thousand, a thousand likes, and we just hit 6,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, boys. If we manage to get 7,000 subs by... This time next week, you guys have till Sunday, which would be sometime next month. I just sell out. Then we will give away 100 mil, courtesy of Rice Cup, who has yeah, like I'll, 10 I'll twisted it, bows, by the way, boys. Yeah, this yo, man's stacking money, bro. Okay. Not stake money, PVM money, bro. Hard earned. Yo. Hard earned, grafted money, man. <laughs> and it <laughs> smells like sweat. It smells like sweat you want. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, before That's... we jump into Woody Vlog, we were asking who, how do we sell out? And so I was like, I got this. I know what to say. And we did not know about this at all, bro. Oh my That's God. Right. Perfect, man. Absolutely okay. perfect. Yes. Yeah, right. Thank you. All right. And we also we, got we some new to, overlays. We need to get at least a thousand subs for that, though. It needs <laughs> yes. to be at least 1K. Come on. Come on. I we mean, have to get the 7K right. for 100 mil. That's we, got enough, we got enough silk. We could afford it. Um, so, wilderness mm-hmm. changes, man. 24th of June, 2021. We've been waiting multiple years. Okay. Pretty much a year. Uh, I think the latest PvP update, I guess you could even say, was shooting stars, as there would be wilderness spawns, and I know clans that would camp them. So I, I guess that's a wildy update, unless you count taking away multi revs, which I don't. But there's a ton to cover here, and we've of course brought on, uh, we got Solo who does a lot in Deadman mode, and of course his PvP hardcore. So, and this does have some PvP related stuff in this as well. Uh, where shall we start, dude? They go over some uh, analytics here. From the polls, I think. So, I think I think it's important to let them know that w- w- there are 16 topics, but obviously some are not as important. I think we've come to the conclusion that we're gonna mostly talk about like single plus ref caves, w- Wildy Slayer, and uh, Luke Keys, right? Yeah, but yeah, we're gonna cover everything, and it's, and the rest is just like those will be more smaller topics, not really too big changes in defense yeah. and lure and stuff. Um, and then it, and it also gives a lot of poll poll out. Where did they grab these polls? Did they just have them in the voting booth, or is this off Reddit? Or I think it was a survey. I think survey? it was a survey that they uh, did out uh, some time ago. Yeah. And and the best mm-hmm. part about this blog, the content on this blog will not be polled. Everything you see 
probably is coming to the game in some sort of variation on this blog, right? Not everything, maybe, maybe everything could be, but it's not going to get pulled. So no, there's no skillers that get any say in this or, or, you know, even the clans. If you've been on Twitter, a lot of those clans are not enjoying these updates, but a lot of the single PKers are. It's kind of, it's kind of funny how that works. Should we go over the uh, analytics guys before we get into the main thing here? Which is skull tricky, apparently. I just skip it, dude. Yep. Like it's boring. <laughs> Let's just get to the good stuff. Well, I mean, we could get us if you have a summary, a quick summary. I I don't mind hearing about it. I really, yeah. I, I um, I did not go over these too heavily, but it was kind of cool to see. Uh, I mean, right here, I think skull tricking within the wilderness is a problem. Seventy percent of people agree. Does that mean seventy percent of people on oh, RuneScape have been skull tricked, or like they just know if somebody's been skull tricked? I don't know. Yeah, they heard, they've known of people that have been skull tricked, like their friends, you know, right? And I was, then they're like, nah, dude, that's messed up. Yeah, yeah, so it's kind of like you get a sense of why these updates came to be with these questions. So it is good because I personally don't think skull tricking is that big of a problem. Um, before we get into it, do you guys think uh, skull tricking is that big? Solo, what what do you got about skull tricking, man? Um, I kind of like that the wildies like the wild west. It's this lawless land. But at the end of the day, if it really stops people from fighting back and stuff, like skull trafficking doesn't actually happen that often. So if they get rid of it, I don't really care to be honest. There's only a couple people who have like twin accounts going around skull trick, and they just do it so so often that it does probably seem a little redundant. But uh, I yeah, I also don't think it's that big of a problem. Right, C? Do you have any words on skull tricking, dude? Yeah, I mean, I pretty much feel the same as Solo on this. Like, I, I've always seen the Wildy as, like, the Wild West, like, dog-eat-dog. And it's, I, I've always just seen it. I guess it's quite an old-school perspective, but it's, like, if you're better in any way, whether it be, like, outwitting or better skill-based, and you can basically take somebody's items from them in the wilderness, you voluntarily took those items in there, I think it's fair game. But... I will say that, you know, if there's a majority of people that really dislike it and it's stopping them going in there, I don't, I don't really care. Like it is yeah, what I it is. I don't think it's, I don't think it's a huge issue, but if people see it as like, I, I'm not too fussed either. Like it is what hmm. it is. I, I completely agree. Rice, you, you have the same uh, knowledge there or? Uh, yeah. I mean, I'd say like skull tricking. It's definitely a, a factor of why new people wouldn't want to get into the wilderness today, just because, you know, a lot of us are just kind of older now, and, and, and we're so incentivized to just avoid things that are problematic. So, right, a lot, most people are going to stick to PVM because it's way safer, mm -hmm. less, you know, Wild West, you know, shenanigans. So if their goal is to hopefully get more current players into the wilderness, you know, then, they, yeah, I think it, it would actually help. But I don't think it's like a huge, you know, I don't think it's a huge factor, you know, there's, mm -hmm. I think there's just much more like bigger things that, that need to ha happen in the wilderness yeah. if they actually want to make it viable. That was my first yeah. thought when I opened up this blog and I scrolled down the first thing I'm reading is skull tricking. Like, how is this this big of a problem? I'm thinking maybe because it just sounds mean. Because I know a lot of people don't go in the wild anyway, so maybe they just think skull tricking. There must be like a super secret way. When in reality, you just have your friend standing under the purse and they click on it or a piece of item you log in when they're looting, right? It's not really too devious. <laughs> it's not, not a lot of planning, yeah. man. Not that evil. Yeah. I think, I think it's a bigger perceived problem by a lot of like, I guess, mm -hmm. more casual players. So like right. by getting rid of it, if you're getting rid of some of that fear. So mm -hmm. I think it's worth yeah. it. And we already have a solution, I mean, the right? We have the attack options on hidden, so you couldn't even attack someone. <laughs> you could use a spell. Yeah. But other it's than just that, people forget. <laughs> yeah, it's. I always say it's getting greedy. Forget. You want to fight back, you get greedy. But there's nothing wrong with being greedy either. But you got to learn you, once. You know, that skull you know, in a exists. way, you know, in a way, the the game just has become a little bit too catered. You know, like it doesn't encourage people to like really think carefully anymore, right? Just because most of the game revolves around PVM now, and PVM is relatively <clears throat> safe, so it's not. Yeah, you know I mean, you yeah. can kind of just risk whatever you want, and mm -hmm. if you pay 100k, oh, you know, like it's not a big deal. Yeah, yeah. So I, I not think is that like that anymore. I, I think as well, like, where does the skull tricking in the wilderness really happen, boys? Like outside of the only place I can really think about, like a really active place, is probably like the mage training arena, That's what where you say. get people. The people have like Battle Mage as a name and they dress up as one of the warriors. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And but like but like here's the thing. It's like if you are switched on, if you're paying attention, 
if you really care about the items that you're taking in there and you don't want to lose them it's like you will be like juiced up and you're mm -hmm. going to be looking at that mini map to see if there's any white dots and to make sure no shit's going down but like you know it is what it is like here's the thing if this change basically leads to more people going into the wildy and be more active i don't have a problem with it but like i i guess time will tell and i think as well something to bear in mind a lot of people were very quick to jump on the whole you know you think this is gonna fix pvp and it's like no, no. of course this isn't gonna fix pvp but it could be the beginning of fixing pvp it's like obviously this has to be continued it needs to be built upon and like this on its own this whole blog is not gonna fix pvp overnight but it's the beginning of something and that's better than nothing but Definitely. it is it is what it is like you know yeah skull trick and yeah. not that big a deal maybe it'll make people feel safer if they think there's more to stop people from skull trick and even though like i said we can have attack on hidden uh, they say, you know, the easiest way to prevent skull trigger is to turn your attack options and disable auto retaliate. There's already ways to combat it, right? The only way you're going to fall for it is if you are doing the mage training arena and you cast a spell or you get greedy and fight back. So if this helps bring people in the wild, that's great. They also touch on luring. Uh, luring, I think, in general, is a little more dangerous because if you guys have ever heard of people getting lured in PvP worlds and they think they're anti luring someone, but in reality, they're the ones getting lured for billions. And I can't. Yep. I remember like what you click on like some square and it shoves you out into the wild because it's like a door. I don't know how that works. Does anyone know how to explain yeah, they, that better? They, they have they have a lot of like weird little tricks, but it is always that. It's always oh, by the way, you can anti law the anti law the yeah. anti law, but they're always one yeah. step ahead of you. Like they're in a if it's not your boy, if it's, if it's not your boy yeah. from like ten years, like. <laughs> friendship that you get a lot <laughs> right yeah no yeah. one no one's ever going to yeah, take no. time out of their day to take you to a pvp world yeah. and show you around bro it's ridiculous there's I'm, a whole that's just the same, same thing for everything like life as well scams and stuff like yeah. it's too good to be true it is obviously exactly, <laughs> it's, too good it, to be true. it's really interesting isn't it because like i i'm sure we've all been all of us on this podcast have played for a long time we've probably all been scammed we've probably been lured at some point or another but it's like is it like Listen, when I see people who are, you know, going along with Allure and they end up dying with, like, their TiVo and Scythe and all that gear, like, I watch it and I'm like, I do feel bad for them. But at the same time, it's like, you learn. Like, dude, if you die for, a like, whatever it is, or you get lured or you get scammed, it's like, you're not going to fall for it again. And if you do, you're probably a little hopeless and I don't even <laughs> know what to say about that. But most people learn from these mistakes, right? And, um... I don't know. I, I, I feel like in some ways it's like it's still fair game. I've never really had a problem with luring. Uh, what I do have a problem with is the way that the like 2020 one lures actually happen. And that's just the sense of like, you know, this almost like advertising in like the grand exchange, like trying to, you know, poach people. Right. And uh, just 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 the way it's done. It's not like the Jojo 5000 lure. You know what I mean? It's what? not. It's not the sort of like you. You, you don't know who Jojo Five Thousand is. I'm thinking the anime, dude. What do you? Uh, yeah. No, it's not the Solo no. Mission. Come, I, you I, must I, know who that is. Of course, I know who that is. Oh, oh man, you call yourself a PK? Are you serious? I don't, you don't I know would who call Jojo myself is. a Fletcher, dude. You know this. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, let's just say everything that Mint says in this podcast, minus ones, whatever he says. Jesus. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Apparently, it's Jojo Three Thousand. My mistake. Three thousand. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. Sorry. He, he was. Lost. He was the person that invented the lure, which was at the uh, the pub, which is uh, by the wilderness in Varrock, where they would oh. get people with like party hats to run across. Oh, and those people, cash. those people must have yeah. made no. so much money. I, I watched those videos. Yo, somebody tried to do that to me a long time ago, but you should have, dude. Yeah, you could have been on that video. You should, you should have. No, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know anything. It just sounded sketchy, been, so I was like, I'm out. You've been famous yeah, for years, but. Either way, my point here is like, I think luring in general, it's like, I, I think it's pretty scummy, like the way that they go about it. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't exactly completely defend the people that fall for the lures because it's like, you know, they're going into it knowing that it's something fishy is happening and they're going into it thinking that they're going to get the one up on the person who's trying to lure them. So it's kind of like their own fault, right? Mm -hmm. But, um, I, I'm pretty sure from what I've read on this poll or on this blog, sorry, they said they're pretty much just going to make it super clear, like where you can stand, where you can be attacked. 
and I have no problem with that at all. I think that's uh, I think that's a good update they could implement. Yeah, I'm just adding this here. Apologies. Uh, <laughs> it's real professional. So <laughs> the best that, old yeah. get <laughs> podcast on YouTube, boys. <laughs> Perfect. So the thing yeah. is, if you're getting lured these days and age anyways, maybe you're spending a little too much time walking around the Grand Exchange talking to people, right? Not saying it's a bad thing, but where else are you going to get poached? Doing Slayer? No. Yeah. It's always it's at the, the Grand dynamic. Exchange room. Yeah. It's just the dynamic of this game is is just so, so easy now, you know? So people are not, they're just not like used to they being got their guard in up. danger. Yeah, exactly. Like back mm -hmm. in the day, even if I went for like barrels, I had to be in my, I, ha I had to have my guard up because I've lost my tasks there once to Carol's and I lost 20 mil and I quit the game oh, for like a year. Oh, you know what I mean? It's like no. easy, easy bosses back then was scary as hell, you know? I lag once, I'm just like, oh no, you know? Like it's just terrible. Oh, there's, you already, you already, yeah. there's no predators, you know? You gotta, you can't, you, yeah, it's just, no reason I mean, to keep your guard up. Dangerous. Anymore. Also, yeah. something that they do, which I think is like really bad, is like it's not just the, there's something in my mind which sees it as like just logging into a world and someone trying to lure somebody to the ditch and get them to hop isn't as bad as like what they're doing nowadays is they actually have bots that will detect the people and their wealth and gear inside of certain worlds. Oh yeah. So yeah. like it, it's it's it, it's like a program at this point where they know exactly where people are, their username, their wealth, and so forth. Like it just it's gone too far. And I think it is time the Jagex put a stop to it, to be fair. But what is it yeah. they actually have proposed so, for yeah, this? Yeah, I was going to go into that. Do for it? Pretty much not much, but they are going to take, so map extra safe areas around banks and hotspots in PvP world. So, you know, solos uh, areas there. And then to stop players from unintentionally straying into a danger zone and also make doors always open in PvP worlds. So clicking a door, it would open oh, yeah. and it would shove okay. you outside for some reason. You could probably find a video online to explain that better. And that's how you would get lured. So some spaghetti code. Yeah. yeah. So I guess okay. that's gonna help. Probably a couple bill from leaving the hands of innocent people. But overall, lures aren't gonna stop. They're they're always yeah. gonna be to be to be honest, that's like a small thing. Yeah. yeah. At the end of the day, it's the yeah, it's person, person interaction doesn't change. Like, no. Yeah, this is more for like reputational purposes, you know, to <laughs> to like prove to yeah, people that Jagex actually listens. You know, they they like I, they heard about I your guess. Complaint. And before yeah. we get deeper into this whole thing, because this is just like I don't know, like the toppings on a very beautiful yeah, yeah. meal mm -hmm. here this is, is that, just the entree. Yeah, yeah. the it's skull the entree, tricky yeah. luring. If they really listened, wouldn't it be more macing? Right, would be fitting this option. If you know what macing is, you go into multi. You get hit by a D spear, and during the stun, you get hit by so many ancient maces. Used to be BGSs, but they got changed. Ancient maces, when they hit you, they smite a little bit of your prayer. If they stack a bunch of them, you get smited instantly. Not much you can do. A lot of money's left the game that way, and I don't think they will ever mention it. And I promise, skull tricking, luring doesn't really have anything to do with PvP or wild, so I don't know why that's there. But pretty much, skull tricking, it, it is leagues above it and they have not talked about it at all i don't know if they ever will i just that's that's my biggie dude do you guys uh, want to touch on macing before we jump into uh, some other stuff or we just want to continue the blog <laughs> i think yeah, that's I, mean, uh, I think that's a you kind of yeah i know okay that's, that's why i was like <laughs> i gotta i gotta I read of it I got I got maced once, right? They froze me next to the obelisk, spared me four times from like max distance, and by the time I was in the middle and getting teleported to fifty five wildy, I was like, "Well done, boys. You got <laughs> it. Just, like, take take my items. You deserve this. Well yeah. fucking played." But like, I I know that you have a big problem with it. Uh, but I, I think for the more sort of like average player, which clearly the skill tricking and luring is like you know towards like experienced players probably aren't going to fall for these lures because most people have played long enough to like wisen up to it so i think macing it's like at that point you're already in the wilderness and you're also pking with a plus one so you've got that far it, it i wouldn't say it's as big an issue uh currently i would say if revenant caves was still yeah. multi, it would still be a pretty big issue if the, if the wilderness was super active i wouldn't think it's an issue at all personally if i bring something in the wild i know it's going to be lost possibly in multi whatever even if it's a plus one so me being mace doesn't really have anything to do with my opinion on it it's just you think about all the things that would be damaging to the wild why would skull tricking be on the blog and not macing i i don't know that's just how i see it right a little weird just wanted to throw that in there 
PVM is the ones getting skill tricked, but PK is the ones getting maced. Yeah, and so, PK like, is not complaining. PK is already in the world, eh? <laughs> yeah. and they want more PVMers to start yeah. PK. So that's that's the difference, really. Yeah, so when we get more PVMers in the wildy, then we can focus on macing. But let's see if that actually happens. Yeah, first, we'll, you know? we'll, we'll build up. We'll build up and see how it goes. And hopefully have a very nice multi where we can bring all sorts of plus ones, man. That would be the dream. Uh, it goes over combat area tricks, personally. I think we could skip that if you guys want to jump. If, if you read that before, but I read over it, there's... I don't, I don't really understand why this would be here either. Um, mm -hmm. So single plus combat and PJ timers. Single plus is a new combat area where you can only attack one person. There's a PJ timer and you can attack people off monsters. Summarizing this, we'll be replacing all single way or all single combat areas in the wilderness with single plus. When I was first reading this, I literally flipped back in my chair, man. I That is so huge. This means that PvP will always take priority. So if a player is in a fight with a monster, they can be attacked by another player. In all at, uh, aspects, the other single-way combat mechanics would still apply. So, huge. Huge for everywhere. There's not going to be any more uh, tag teaming. There's only going to be multi and single plus. And a lot of clans... Have, have outspoken against that. They, they think it might kill the wild. Personally, I'm a little on the fence here, but it's a huge update. So it's solo, man. You have any big uh, ideas about single <laughs> plus, man? Put you right on the spot. This is um, this is probably one of the most controversial things in here, by the way. Oh, it's definitely the most it's controversial huge. thing. It's huge. Yeah. yeah, it's huge. Yeah. So my opinion is, like, from a personal perspective, singles plus is good for me because I don't enjoy PKing as a team in singles. But mm, I don't think yeah. anyone can say whether it will be better for overall world or wilderness activity or not. I've been on both mm -hmm. sides of it. Like, I don't, I don't often PK in like a team, but I, I have like, it's fun to fuck around with your mates. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, make a rixy TV yeah. or whatever. So like, that does bring people together. <laughs> and, a bit, and I'm a big fan of that for uh, RuneScape. Like, it's an MMO at the end of the day. But uh, on, on the other side of that, like, I don't really wilderness PK now, but when I did back in like 2017 or whatever, just go into chins and then like getting fucking lowered and like everyone you fight is like oh it's just a bait for a team and it's just like so yeah bad. and that's only gotten worse. and honestly I, and it, as a solo pk it fucking triggers me so much when people just run into npcs like it's just so annoying I hope yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so, that, so, that, anybody... so, that, so it's good for me personally but i don't know if it's good for the overall wellness or not only time yeah. will tell uh, for anybody who is listening who, and doesn't and hasn't read this yet, so effectively, if you guys have been to the Revenant Caves right now, they have single plus, where basically, if you're fighting somebody, you cannot be tagged off unless a certain amount of time passes, right? So they're planning on putting that into the entire wilderness. Uh, I'm not sure if that is for PvP as well. Do you know if that's for PvP, Ben? Uh, it did not say anything about PvP. Wait. I doubt it. I okay. doubt it. Oh, it's for um, it's not for PvP walls, but PvP walls already have a PJ timer. Yeah, so and, but it already, have, like, it's kind of halfway there already. But they could add yeah. it in the future if they ever do anything extra with <laughs> PvP worlds, which you would hope. But for now, just a wilderness man everywhere except for the multi squares. We one v ones. I mean, it's definitely changing it up. But here's the thing: like the wildy has had such little change for such a long time. It's like, I don't necessarily see this as a bad thing or a good thing. It just means that, like, the wildy meta is changing, mm -hmm. right? And uh, for anybody who's, like, PK'd for a long time and PK'd back in pre-OC and so forth, it's like, the wilderness and PvP as a whole, it changed all the time. Every year, the wildy was something different. It was like, one year, you had the entire clam wars there. You had the fucking the corp cave there. Uh, the next the next year, it's like you had the uh, the red port of clam wars, and you can make absolute bank PK in a clam wars. And it's like it just kept it fresh. It changed it up, and uh, mm -hmm. I, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. And also, you can still PK with your friends with this update. It probably just means that you have to be more coordinated. So it's like if you've got a TBR that wants to TB somebody, and they're fighting you back and they're freezing you, it's like. You better catch that freeze and you better get away from him so he can't attack you and let one of your boys on who's actually going to kill him. Um, so I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. I completely understand why single clans don't like this. As somebody who's been in a lot of single clans, if I was currently in a single clan, I probably would be one of those angry guys mm -hmm. on uh, Twitter complaining about this. I totally understand because 
this is just a very big inconvenience for those people. So it's like there is certainly an agenda for those people in single clans because this is something which is just a little hurdle which is in their way. And to be fair, it's like if you're trying to TB a guy that's a fucking sick Brit and your T beer can't get away from that hybrid, like your T beer is dead. Simple as that. So it's like, it's obviously not going to be good for those people. But I don't think that changing the wildy and making it different, and this doesn't have to be a permanent thing either, is necessarily a bad thing. Uh, as long as they build on this, I think that's cool. And I will say this as well. I think the idea of like, picture this, you're at 44, you TB a guy, he can't go into KBD and teleport. There's spiders down there, and it's notorious for them just getting a box. You're just going to be able to go down that ladder and just stay on them, right? So it's like, it just changes things. Like, I think change is generally pretty good. Well, and uh, it'd be see. interesting to see what happens to this. I wonder if boxing will still be a thing if you're solo PKing because the spiders will attack you and you can't attack the person on the spider? Or would that negate that? No, I think you can just hop on them. Yeah. It's like, uh, remember, yeah. Bounty, yeah. remember Bounty Hunter Worlds where you teleport to your target and yeah. you always so you, have priority. So you think it's, that's what it's going to be like? Because it's, it's kind of like hard that. to that, show That's up exactly around. what it's okay. going to be. Good Hobgoblins shit. no longer a thing. <sighs> and who's no, no, no longer a thing. Praise be like, Jesus. <laughs> yes. Oh my only, God. The Everybody's only sad now. thing, yeah. I think the only sad thing about this is things that are historical in the wilderness, admittedly, they're not really used as much, like Axe Hut and Pirate Hut, are just going to be completely dead. Like, if you go in there, the only chance you've got to get in away is if, like, the people hunting you down don't have pick locks. Mm. And if it's a team on you, chances are one person's going to have a pick lock and they can just, like, attack you in there. Um, but yeah, it's going to completely change the wilderness. It's like, the only way you can get a box off is if you're PKing with a friend and he manages to attack you. Yeah. That's it. But chances are, you know, it's actually going to be in the single clan's uh, benefit here for this update to go through. Because if their friend's trying to get a box, as soon as one of their guys attacks their friends, they're locked into combat as well. There's no hope of getting a box on that guy. So, you know, it would be interesting to hear somebody who uh, is in a single clan and how they feel about this. Yeah. But, like, it's not the end of the wilderness, boys. Like, I'm not being funny. We'll see how this goes. If anything, there's probably going to be some sick benefits for single clans here. Like, you know, how many times have single clans lost max kills to the fucking spiders outside KBD? That ain't going to be a thing no more. That's done. Like, you can just stay on that. Happy days. I mean, anybody that's escaped an axe hut and so forth, it's like you can attack everybody and anybody. All you need to do is make sure that your TBers aren't fucking shit and they don't get destroyed by the hybrid they're TBing. And happy days. Yeah. Like you're just you're just gonna have to, you know, in all due respect, get good. S <laughs> get a TBR that knows what he's doing. Skill will prevail when these updates hit. We could even see these single clans not only PK together, but also just split up into smaller groups, which I think is going to benefit the wilderness even more, right? No one likes a 10, 12-man clan, especially when they're falling in on Mystic. But three to four people, maybe even two people, hell, hopefully one person now in single plus, but that usually is not the case. Uh, but it definitely does weaken single clans. Uh, but for Iron Man, I don't know, right? So you have any uh, ideas on how this could affect Iron Man? Oh, uh, I mean, there there is something specific that they're thinking about for Iron Man, but I think that's later on. But like... I mean, single single plus from a PVMer perspective, I think it would encourage PVMers to actually try and fight back this time around, just because now you know you're gonna be engaged with somebody, but you're also mm -hmm. gonna know that if somebody's attacking you, then you're gonna be able to commit to that person the whole time. So if you if you actually are somewhat prepared, you might be able to fight your way out of it or actually kill him without thinking in the back of your head like, okay, they, they have a team over here just chat you know what i mean even if i try hard and i get this guy down like there might be a team right but now it doesn't matter because then you're going to be able to stay and fight the whole time right yeah and or or run away you know if you're skilled enough you can finally kind of like do enough damage maybe to the point where the guy has to back out and then you can just you can just get out i guess yeah but, yeah but i think the biggest thing is just the fact that even if you try to fight someone now there's such a high chance that they have a whole clan with them anyways. Ah, at some like point, they're just going to show up. <laughs> yeah, they're just going to show up anyway. So it's like, even if you try, it doesn't matter because you'll never win. Because they'll just literally either box the other guy or you're going to die right afterwards. Because like the whole clan is just going to pile on you <clears throat> mm -hmm. and just take yeah. turns specking you. So it's like stupid, you know? Right now, it's hella stupid for people trying to do stuff as a single person. 
in the wilderness. I mean, that's what most people do, right? Most people that are in the wilderness are by themselves usually. Like if they're PVMing anyways, they're usually by themselves, right? Yeah. So definitely, man. But they're right. gonna they're gonna be adding single plus to the whole wilderness, which I didn't see coming at all. That's why I was kind of blown back reading. Well, this. minus minus multi though, right? Mo of minus course, multi, multi will definitely yeah. still exist. Could you imagine if it didn't? Yeah. That'd be that'd be <laughs> crazy. But um, cool idea here. A cool question is that: Do you guys think all of the wilderness, other than multi, should be single plus, man? Um, for me, I think if they're gonna do this, they definitely need to make the loot from monsters a lot higher you need to make money if you're going to be hunted yeah. by pros and you can't box which definitely am against boxing but these people can't box and let's say their dens bulwarks get nerfed in the future or you know it's not helping against this godly pk or then they're not going to go out there and farm monsters for money so hopefully if they're going to keep everywhere single plus they're also going to boost the drop rates of literally everything in the wild just so that if someone does get hunted and dies they can just come back and get that risk and reward you know, and ju not just risk, but should should the wilderness be full single plus or should it just be parts? I think it should just be parts. I think full on starting right away is is huge for not having any updates in the past while they're just going to dump this on us is crazy. What do you guys? Yeah, think? I was I was quite surprised that they didn't bring out like the, the positive news as well for like existing PKs because they're just. They're taking a massive risk because they're like they're fucking over singles clans mm -hmm. and like to try to get these people that don't PK because they always get clanned. Like they're taking a risk that these people are all all of a sudden going to come back and pe start PKing again. <laughs> like they might not. Like <laughs> we'll, not we'll, we'll see. So it's, it is it's a bit of a risk. Uh, and like I guess you have the new rev thing like later on and stuff. But as a general point, the wilderness can easily easily be revitalized just by adding in like fucking like 10 mil an hour somewhere do you know what i mean and this is a yeah. this is an issue which jagex have like it's a constant battle between the rest of the game being like oh risk the food the, i always call it the food chain model of like you put the mm. high value stuff in the new pks go better pks go the clans go like i personally believe that that is a good system and it's been working since like 2004 and like it's proven as soon as you jump the ditch you accept the risk but mm. i'm also aware that the community doesn't subscribe to that anymore as a whole like obviously the pk community does like it's fundamental it's to the, world, it's to the wilderness community. but at the end of the day from the results of the poll, Jagex are uh, catering to the average casual player. Everyone goes on about the Reddit user or whatever, but that's just the that is the average player. Like the average player isn't a Twitter single clanner or whatever, or like a, or even a Twitch viewer. A Twitch viewer is like like a lot more into this game than the average Joe. To be honest, it's almost a religion. Like, it's almost yeah. Religion so like when, so as a company, when you've got. 90% of the player base is average Joe's telling you like the wilderness is fucked like it's so unfair we're getting teamed and single all the time and then you've got 10% that want it like it is and they're like and over overarching all this you've got PvP is fucked the world is dead etc they're like why not make a change and cater to the 90% of people screaming that we hate single teams and stuff yeah, and so yeah. they obviously just go and do that <clears throat> I mean, whether that's actually the right choice for the future I don't know if it is or isn't no one can say for sure but I can see how it's turned up this way. Yeah, to, to be I honest. Mean, well, let's see. We got a poll question right here. I think organized groups of players have too much of an advantage over solo players. 87% yes. agree, which is, is obvious, I mean, but exactly what Solo uh, yeah, said. Yeah, it's obvious. Yeah. They are all something with this, like that. Something with this update, and I, I, I actually seriously sympathize. I, I do with the single clans because I get it. It's like they are probably the most active PKers in the worldie yet they are getting the shortest end of the stick here, or at least it seems at face value, because this this update right here is specifically to try and encourage more solo PK in action in the wilderness. But if you're a solo PK, or sorry, if you're a single PK in a clan, okay, like, the way things have gone over the last, like, pretty much the entire old Scroonscape PvP scene, PvP has only declined in popularity, okay? So it's like, clearly whether that be due to a lack of updates or whether it be due to the fact that people don't like going into the wildy because they get clans something just isn't working wildy content is just not becoming more popular and it's like love it or hate it this may be a good thing in the long run this may encourage if it does work how it's supposed to 
more solo people to go into the wildy, meaning that there's more prey for you to actually kill, but it's not going to be so convenient for you to be able to let all your boys on. Okay. Right. I totally get it. If I was in a single clan to this day, I would probably be raging so hard at this because it sucks. It's like, hey, it's like you are the person that is more or less, you know, running slash keeping this place alive. You are the activity. And they're basically just, you know, flipping the bird to you. It's like, this is completely against everything that you do and everything that you want as a single clan. But at the same time, try and be a bit open-minded by it, boys. It's like, has mm -hmm. this really worked out? No. No. The wildies <laughs> just declined in popularity. That shit is dead as hell right now. I didn't even appreciate how dead it was. OMP came with Mint Mad Cow, like, God, what was it, a few weeks ago? Yeah, I had to really I help him. I was... I was risking the dumbest shit. I was out there in gilded boots and full DH and just like trolling around, but it was dead. Like there was nothing. And it's really sad to see the actual wieldy in that state. And it's like the way things were going clearly wasn't working. I think it's time for change. And mm -hmm. I think time will tell with this, whether or not it's going to work out for the better or not. But I do genuinely feel bad for those single clampy cares, love them or hate them. It, it definitely is a very bad update. Like, on for the them. surface level yeah. for those guys. But the hope is that if it does encourage more people to go into the wildy, it's like, here's the thing. As a solo player that wants to get into PK, and I'm sure people are reading this thinking, huh, I can go into the wildy and have fair fights, but there's still that risk of getting hit by somebody that's really experienced. So it may yeah. it may pay out. Who knows? Like, we'll just have to see what happens. Yeah. Really but the way see. things are going clearly mm -hmm. isn't working. No. That's what I'm trying yeah. to say at all. Not yeah, at all, I, I'd say to, I think to add on to Rixie's point is that, yes, I don't think these changes will save the wilderness because there's a fundamental thing about the wilderness and in which in its relation to where OSRS is for most players, right? It's like when people come to play OSRS, they usually nowadays identify it as something they can use to just progress their characters, make money, build, you know, build your account, right? Do your quests, get your gear. It's not really so much about f killing people, fighting people, right? Because, like, unfortunately, games, other games just do it better, you know? And we've talked about this before. It's just yeah. the fact that this game has lost its edge on, like, the whole PvP idea. Yeah. Like, the, oh, this model of wilderness fighting in the Wild West, it, it was great back before stuff like, you know, all the MOBAs and all the, you know, uh, Battle Royales and all those other competitive million dollar prize pool game and you know competitive games showed up because now all the serious people that like to compete they go there now you know as long as we as long as this game does not focus on an actual competitive scene i just don't think it's really going to attract the real players well, that wants yeah. to be in the wilderness right here, here here's the thing so, dude like there i would say there are two different kinds of pvp games out there okay the games yeah. that i play so on one hand mm -hmm. you've got league of legends which is completely structured around a rank system and becoming a better, higher rank, okay? So it's like highly competitive. People are addicted to it. You can say it's a good thing or bad thing. A lot of people play it and it is, you know, quite a toxic environment. <laughs> yeah. On the other hand, you've got games that are PvP solely, such as Escape from Tarkov, which has no rank system at all. It's there is there. nothing, there is nothing competitive about that game at all, all right? But it's fucking fun because it's so gruelingly punishing that, you know, it's like if you die, it's a big blow. And it's like, damn, I just lost like however many hours of work. Whereas if you get a good kill and you manage to get that shit out, you're like on top of the fucking, you're on top of the world. You're just like, holy shit, that's, that's great. Look, I got all these upgrades, all this gear to like go out with now. And it's like, we don't have either of those. And I, I feel like um, something yeah. to look at with this entire blog is that there really has been, and I gotta say it, there really has been like no sense of direction for PvP when it comes to RuneScape. The only attempt I would say was PvP esports with Deadman Mode, and you know, when they tried to do the All Stars, which obviously just didn't happen for whatever reason. Mm. And it just seems like they completely dropped the ball and they've just left it for too long at this point. Yeah. Now um, I wanna I will if I yeah. can finish real quickly. Yeah. Like this is something. This is the beginning of, I'm assuming, this is the start of a vision that Jagex have for the future, where they can take this in a certain direction. So it's like, it's a change, sure. People don't like that, people love that, whatever. But it's something. And I'm just hoping that they're going to build from this, and they're just setting the foundation, and there's a lot more to come. But I feel like they definitely need to find one of those avenues, or better yet, 
Do both of those things. Take your competitive and then also have your fun and push that, push it forward. Because it's like, we don't have Eva right now. We just have historical content, which is like an ancient relic where only really the people that have been doing it for a really long time have any interest in doing it because they still enjoy doing it for whatever reason. But it's like, it's lacking a lot of whether that be competitive competitive or just the fun aspect like i don't see that in the wildy no and, not at all you know i, like, I just hope yeah, they build on this yeah my friend said this yeah, and i thought it was like a good point that jagex have neglected competitive stuff for pvp for like the past few years so this all like the singles teams the multi teams and stuff like their competitive outlet has turned into the wilderness which has made it so that's what's part of the reason why it's all so toxic and everything that's a so good that's point. part of the problem that they're all they're all competing to be the untouchable fucking spies or whatever the fuck <laughs> they all say like, uh. <laughs> like, like that, that, they shouldn't be competing the wilderness should be for fun and the but at the end of the day like it, there needs to be profit to be made in the wilderness it needs to be a fun place you go out fuck around with your mates without your mates whatever i agree and then the and you're right racy there needs to be a separate place for actual competitive stuff where people get together and uh, take it seriously and you are right that the two are just like I don't know. It's almost like this weird mix of the worldy, and it's just like it's just fucked, really. Yeah. Really to is, add yeah. on to you guys' point, though, I really do think like these updates in general, like you said, is is a solid foundation for something bigger. And right now, I just look at it as like, what is this game for? Like, for what type of players is this game for? Right. I think nowadays, like I said, this game is sold very heavily on non PVP very like it's it's just like almost fact at this point right like almost everybody that plays this game nowadays their focus is pvming skilling yeah i mean skilling on the side pvm as the focus build your account right so if they don't yeah if they don't add like a very good competitive uh reason for people to come to the game then you also don't get stuff like wilderness flourishing right because what because like what if you have a really good competitive scene in runescape but like then again, those players aren't always gonna want to do competitive stuff all the time, right? They might just want to do some PvP for fun with no real rank risk or whatever, right? They just I think the wilderness is a great place. It still has a place, but you don't have the you don't have the demographic of players to actually fill it in <clears throat> right now. You know, it's so yeah. hard to convert these old dogs that are so obsessed with PvMing into PvP. It takes it, it's like you know what I mean old dogs don't learn new tricks. It's it's such a you know, it's such a real phrase, like for real. As you get older, it's really hard for you to change how you go about playing even a, even this video game. Like if you can somehow get a lot of competitive, competitive minded people into this game, I'm sure not only will they want to stick with the PVP competitive stuff, they also probably want to mess around with the wilderness as well on the side, right? Just because yeah. you don't always want to, you know, do competitive stuff all the time. It's very taxing. Sometimes you just want to play a chill, you know, do some chill PVP that that yeah. isn't putting your rank at risk or whatever but like we there need needs, that there needs to be you know? both there needs yeah. to be there needs to be something which is just majorly fun like the kind of game where you're like you're playing and next thing you know it's been six hours you're like holy shit i should <laughs> probably go and you know go and have some food but you're like i'm just gaming that's the fun aspect you know the competition that would also be great and something to bear in mind with this game there is no other game out there which is like RuneScape, okay? No. And the PvP that is actually here in RuneScape is so different from any other game that you play. It's like, I would say probably one of the most common, you know, PvP games, you're going to go straight to a shooter, okay? RuneScape's so, like, niche. It's like, to acquire the skills to be good at PvP and RuneScape, there are just so many factors and layers to becoming better and better as a PKR. And it's like the people who put the time in to actually become so good at PKing in this clicking game where it's like you're not just like waiting for someone to move and shooting them in the head. It's like you're predicting the next move that they're going to make. You know, you're thinking about what you're going to fake. You're thinking about how you're going to kill this person. You're thinking about what you have left as supplies before you have to dip. It's like the PVP in RuneScape is like no other. And it really is right now just completely being wasted. And it has been for a long time. Definitely. It takes so much effort to become so fucking good at PvP. It's unbelievable. I would say, you know, it's like there are people out there that are amazing at playing gun games and FPS. Some people have insane vision so they can like see like a pixel move and they shoot <laughs> and they get a headshot. But like 
I saw something the other day. Like I've been watching Manx play Apex Legends. Mm. Okay, now you know, no disrespect to Manx or anything like that. I'm sure he's a very good Apex Legend player, but I just thought about it. Like, damn, dude, like. This guy was literally a fucking like two free time winner. He didn't lose a single fight at All Stars. Dead my mode won a ton of times. And it's like he's playing a game where there are people that are probably like in esport teams and so forth that are professionals being paid for that game. When this man's already a fucking professional in a game, which I would say has a way harder learning curve. And it takes like certain special skills to actually get good at and years and years to develop being that good and it's like it's all just being wasted right now that's how it feels um i'm going off on a bit of a tangent but you know it's like it's kind of crazy when you see somebody who is so skilled at the pvp in our game doing pvp in another game it's like what something has clearly gone wrong here this should not be the case. Yo, was that mummy mint right there? <laughs> did, she, did, she, did she just bring you some milk, bro? Did, did she get you a horse? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just, I'm just a fly on the wall in this conversation. Don't yo, mind me, boys. Yo, <laughs> love, love, love mama mint, dude. Shout out mama mint. <laughs> boys, I, so fresh dude. milk, boys. This whole time, I've just been listening, and I agree with everything you said. I really like the point where you bring up that esports. We would, need dynamics, bro. Yeah, it would probably help with the toxicity in the wild because a lot of those clans it really does feel like they're trying to win something that's not there they're trying to win <laughs> a tournament like they're trying to clear you from an area it's their main goal yep. and for like four years that pretty much means their main goal is emptying the wild yeah yeah kill the competition so, so it, hard it's, that nobody the wants skill to and back. competitive players are in the game but they don't yeah. have anywhere they don't have an outlet to go and actually use their skills mm -hmm. like how 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 is this how has there just not been anything that's evolved from the wildy it's I like there are me. people that are so good at it it's like if you throw them in a competition like you know it's gonna be a real test and it's gonna be insane i'll be way more impressed watching somebody hybrid than i am watching somebody shoot somebody on like counter-strike i i just for me probably i you know obviously have a bias because mm -hmm. i love runescape but it's like I know how much skill and dedication goes into being that good. Yeah. And I Yo, watch people now like right. West Ham and stuff, and I'm like, oh my god, crazy. dude, like crazy. how the hell does he even do that? Do you know what I mean? Perfect. But there's nowhere for them to really channel that. Mm. It's missing. There, there, there's no like outlet for those people. And it's sad when you see these talented people who are then playing other games. It's, and like it, it just baffles me it really does and it's funny because they get yo. views right they get views on youtube twitter twitch you got those highlights man we need to open like an osrs champions club where we got like one tournament a week or something and we change it up i don't know we're gonna get the cash i have no idea but uh Here, here's the thing, though. It, dude i'll be honest it should not be us i know it should be yeah, but i agree trust me but <laughs> You know, I'm just saying, like, if someone's got to do it, right? Because I want to see but some of this stuff. Any, they get views. Well, I should be the one to do it. Of it's course. Not somebody. They should have been doing this a while ago. Trust Jagans. me. If, I, if, if someone gives they them more shit money. than anyone, it's me, bro. All the time. That's all I do. You know, Rakesy abandoned the wild for the silk. the t-shirt, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll never say it be a shirt. But Rakesy abandoned the wild for the silk, you know. Uh, you got Neck Boy here who dropped dead earlier today. Rest in peace. And then Rice Never in the Wild. I'm the one just chilling in here waiting for these updates, dude. Trust me. I understand, man. I have things to do, luckily. Yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> it's It's been rough. Do we have anything anything else to add to this, any of you guys? I think oh, just the bottom yeah. line is, to make Wilderness worthwhile, there has to be GP there. If there's a conflict of interest for the wider, wider community, then... Does the future of PvP lie in the wilderness? Probably not. If you can't get that risk reward model through polls and stuff and community sentiment, you've got to start looking at making LMS type things better and like start having some competitive mm -hmm. modes. Like even like yeah. yep. if, like for example, like people think that competition like say like a esports competition is just for the elite people. It's really not. Because like when you have all stars, those worlds were like full of people learning to tribrid. They wanna be like they want to see, oh, I can do this too. And like, if you yeah. had like a competitive, I know everyone says castle walls, <clears throat> but like maybe something a bit more interesting or whatever. If you had yeah. something like that on like a big, like hyped up event level, more people would get into PvP by doing that. Like at the end of the day, I don't, I don't mind what, if PvP is revived through the wilderness or through anything else. I just think that, Dude. I, I think. I think the wellness might be a bit of a losing battle with the GP, and I think that's the only thing that can make yeah, it actually hard loss, active. Hard loss, Mate, dude. It, 
if I can add to that quickly, God, I could talk about this all day. Hey, I think there should be free channels for PvP. Free, very prominent channels. I think you should have something which is fun, which has no risk. Okay, I'm thinking like a mini game of some sort. Uh, you should have a competitive scene, which also has no risks, but has some sort of like tournament reward or something along those lines, or just a, a rank structure. And then bang on in the middle, you have the wilderness. And the wilderness is all GP incentivized. So it's like you have your PvP fun, risk free. You have your competition risk free, where you can get better and you can just, you know, climb the ranks. And then bang on in the middle. It's like you put some really good money makers in the wildy where you can take the skills from both of those if you choose to or not. But that wilderness straight in the middle, that mm -hmm. avenue is about the GP. It's like I completely agree there should be some insane money makers in the wildy and it should be a case of high risk and high reward. But like we only have that one avenue right now and the GP is lacking. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine mm -hmm. how different PvP would be in two years if they worked on all three of those things and it like it just seems like that would be the formula to bring all of those channels together. So it's like you can have your competition and then you can have your fun and then you can make your money. It's like PVPers would just have everything they'd want, like all right there. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, it's, it's, I dropped the mic on that one, dude. <laughs> Mm -hmm. the, the, money the money the money issue is hugely like evidenced by multi revs like when they were introduced like pvp was popping in the wilderness that was like that's all you need to do is like to make something mm -hmm. good money and then like the wilderness so, is oh it's agreed. thriving agreed, again. Man. So, but then but then like you have the conflict of interest between like the majority of the player base and the pvpers and, yeah like, all so, and all so that here, here's the stuff. catch right here's the catch because um i don't think there's anything wrong with having a uh, high you know high money making methods in the wilderness it's just that i think jagex did it wrong the first time when they tried something really um really profitable like revs they 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 made it in a way where clans and go you know gold farmers can basically lock it down 24 7 and and that that had had problems you know because you're not actually you're, you're not really letting people do the do the money making without you having to buy into the system for the most part right buy into the gold farmer operation you know which was kind of dumb but i still think you're right in the sense that there should be high level money makers it's just that going forward they need to make sure that that they don't they, they don't make it so that it's so easy for clans and gold farming clans to well, just lock it down like they yeah that, that they did before you're because it, that yeah. is also not good for the game in general you you're 100 you're right but i mean so we we should just see any money right because how long has zora existed or Warcraft and all these you could say mm -hmm. that's a way to manipulate money in the game, right? That's high GP per hour. Should should exist in the wild. But pretty much that was the first should, thing should. I think I, I even it covered should. is that single plus is amazing, but it will be literally nothing if they do not heighten the reward. If they're just going to yeah, buff the no, risk. I, I agree. I, I don't mind high risk. I, I don't mind like money making, good money making in, in the wilderness. The only mm -hmm. The only issue is just how to prevent lockdown you know because basically right. once I that agree. happens again they're gonna have to go back to that issue of there should be fixing that and dismantling yeah they need to have some sort of like there has to be an incentive well for people slash clans to get together and basically sort that stuff out and i don't know exactly a, sorry go ahead yeah you tell a, me. A, minim, a minimum risk like what if That'd you have nice. this like old revs but it's in like 55 multi multi cave like disgusting like high <laughs> risk and you pay a mil when you go in that's and if what you die, saying. You a mil. Bro, i was telling run. everyone we run. have yeah. the death tax now of 100k bring multi revs back and just make the death tax more right like we already yeah, have the solution in front and of also, yeah. also also yeah. you can just like scale the loot like if you've done the elite worldy diaries or whatever the fuck they're called like you get the full old revlu like when it was like sick mm -hmm. But then okay. if you've done hard, you get seventy five percent, medium fifty percent, easy twenty five percent. I, I, I also That's feel sick. like I also feel like they shouldn't put it on one spot either. You know, like maybe split up into like four spots or something. So, that way it's harder to lock down. Perfect. But I'm you still have a good it. amount to go around. You know. I bro, dude, I've I've been talking about all this for so long. Yeah. I just I'm glad some other know, people I see just, it, bro. I'm I glad. Just think, so nice. Right. Yeah, I just don't think putting like twenty mobs in one cramped up space, like they don't even it's they probably ass. don't even like it being that cramped, you know? No. They split up in like four spots. You know what I mean? Don't do it like oh two spots in like one big area, you know, like like just split up into I mean they know, could have them roaming then... technically. They've done like roaming revs and stuff in the past. Eh, which I, maybe I don't maybe. know if that would really help with that. 
I don't know. If they were well, roaming the, in a the hot main thing spot, is, maybe I'd be down, yeah. right? Some some hot spots. But yeah. overall, yeah, I agree. Uh, Def tag, yeah, just heighten the risk, spread out the monsters. Yeah. And we got ourselves a very easy solution. I'm thinking even in this Wildy blog, if we just scroll down a little bit, loot keys could be a huge solution to uh, to this as well, right? Can you imagine clans just camp in certain areas and they're not banking, they're just stacking keys, right? And back in the day, yeah. these protected farmers, right? You go to an area, they would just log in and like Zerakin and Black DI Shield and like 100K risk. And the only reason they protected those rev worlds, it, like if you paid for one that you could do revs, per, you know, for free, it would just protect you logging on Discord, is because they were risking nothing. But if you could stack those kills, five keys each, I mean, this could, this in general, could could also be stacked with the whole um, spreading out the revs, right? You would you would have just clans yeah. camping, five keys each, banking, making mills an hour. Hell, imagine botting. So I'll just explain what loot keys are before because I know not everyone's played dead man mode, but if you kill someone in dead man mode or say in the game, you would get everything they had on them, but this, it would just be in the key. In dead man mode, it would drop the loot and then you'd have their bank key. But this, everything would just go into the key. You could stack these keys and then in order to loot them, you'd have to go to the bank. Imagine you go to green dragons, five green dragons in like five minutes, you're banking 250K, Bots are going to get evaporated if this update actually hits. <laughs> it's going to be in every bot, too. You got the wine bots. You got the people making the air battle staff tips. They're going to be murder green dragon. I would be worried. Anyone in the wild. So I'm hoping that loot keys yep. in general might not also be the downfall of the wild. Because imagine if you have single plus, god tier PKers, beating the shit out of everyone, and then camping max keys, and then resetting instantly, you're going to have PVMers wiped off the map mm -hmm. so hopefully we get that reward up because all i'm seeing is risk i mean i think it's better than than having like five people gang up on you you know oh 100 percent. no i'm all for this <laughs> yeah. but this is, I don't, this is scary. If, I don't mind if a single golly pk wolves my ass you know because at least i can fight him one-on-one -on -one, you know yeah. rather than like i know there's 10 people right behind him ready to tag me off with their ags specs mm -hmm. like you know cba you know I think most people that I've seen have had like a really positive reaction to loot keys. It, it seems like a really good update. I don't really see any downsides to it. And also, it's like if you end up, say you kill five green dragon bots, and then, you know, it's like you kill some guy who's PKing for his loot. It's also an item uh, sync because all of those items from the key, which was worth the least, gets removed out of the game i know it's a small thing mm -hmm. but i can see a lot of like item syncs in some of the proposals here and also mint if i can add on from the last part of the conversation we had regarding course, a yeah. uh, rev cave i think your idea about putting rev caves in really deep wildy would be a super good idea i think if they force people to more or less bank by either running from like the highest point in the wildy all the so way nice. down to level 30 or even making them the quickest way like going through mage bank it's like with the single plus that we're, they're obviously going to be adding in. It's like, although those people's people will be protected in the cave, it's like, even if they come out and there's an army of them, it's like a swarm, a hundred of them. It doesn't matter. It's like, they can't even PJ you. It's mm -hmm. fair game. I, I think if they put it deep wildy, that would be a really, really good update. Or maybe they can have like a better, bigger money maker of revenants oh. that are higher levels have a better drop table yeah, or in high wildy because the reality is it's like it will be camped down there will be clans that take advantage of this i don't know how big an issue that is when you compare the gp coming in from revenants and morty compared to like zora but at the end of the day if you make it difficult for them to escape um, and it just so be completely free it's like that could be a very good solution right there. I agree. Yeah, I would agree, hundred percent, dude. I would love a death run too, just from like seventy wild to like fifty-five mage man. You're just, ah, you know, oh man, that'd be cool, bro. <laughs> yeah, oh. like with the whole with the whole rev thing, you know, like like let, let's let's just keep it like within a few variables rather than you know trying to pile it all up because it's it's gonna be really hard to gauge just what kind of change is going to happen, right? When you have like all these new variables in play. But like, let's just talk about old reps, right? We're just dreaming, the baby. Problems? That's all we're doing. You know, what were the problems with old reps? It, it was easily, it was, risk. Yeah, it was easily, yeah. it was easily I had locked no out. I love that place. Yeah. Bring it Dude, back. No, wait, but, like, wait. It was easily locked out, right? It, by, by, it by was, so, but I think probably one of the biggest problems. They just need to split problems. it up. Like, like I said, they just need to split it up into like four, four like rooms or something. So that way they can't gang up on you like they used to. Right, keep the rewards the same. I think that alone would already make revs so good. As I it agree. Is, right? I agree. Then I think it gives people a chance. 
And then you I add the, one of the biggest and issues and all that stuff would be fine, you know? I think yeah. one of the biggest issues with that as well was how easy it was to escape. That was, it was just too easy, man. It's like, if you were in a protected team, like, all you had to do was run a few, like, you had to run, I don't know if it's well, self- you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able out. to, right? You wouldn't be able to as easily if it was split up into, you know, multiple uh, no, not areas, at all. right? Yeah. I, I guess, yeah, that's true. That's true. Because what I, I made think... it so easy for clans was that it was literally in one map, so everybody could log into the same exact... Every time they hot worlds, it's guaranteed that you're going to see that person that you're, you yeah. need to fight. Whereas if it's like in groups of four, you split up like the 20 mobs into five, you know, uh, five mobs in, in four locations. It's impossible. Those guys are going to be literally going around the entire dungeon trying to find you. But it's too late. It'll be way too late by the time they try to get you because then you would have so many yeah. tiles ahead. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, they wouldn't be able to get you like that. You're so. making me miss old I reps, think, dude. Yeah. God. It just sounds like there's quite a lot of options there that Jagex could solve the old issue that we had. Whether they put a deep wieldy or like you suggested, like, Split that up. I think either of those are probably. Work. I love that exactly. Just idea. those. We just like the yeah, risk. Yeah, deep wealthy could be interesting too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, love I just that. think that even with a few small tweaks, the old old revs would have just already f fixed the dynamic. You mm -hmm. know, between like one clan, multiple clans locking down the same spot, because then they can't lock down one spot anymore. They have to lock down four spots, but they're gonna need like four times the amount of people for that. You know, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> The thing is, yeah. they just went. They just went absolutely nuclear on the old revs, and did every single thing they could to nerf them. They spread them out. They made it singles. They made the loot and then shit. they lowered the drop. <laughs> you know yeah, I mean? they they did some stupid stuff. They split it up too much. They also lowered the drop rate. Uh, the the drops in general. Some very like, stupid stuff. Like yeah, extremely. Yeah. Like, what the I love you, J mods, but why would you do that, bro? For I mean, go, go, going on to later, it's like them fixing it, isn't it? Supposedly. Yeah, yeah they're all bringing. They have to do literally. It really is. It really is. Really yeah, let's yeah, let's do what they have to say, dude. Actually. Let's, well, do you guys uh, want to like, cover make predictions? Let's actually read what they're yeah. doing. Okay. Anything you know, else on Luke Keys, though? Like, um, yeah. Anything yeah. else? I think it's great. I think, I think Luke Keys is actually a really great way to increase GP per hour without changing a whole lot. You know? I agree. Dude. Like, Those bots. Yeah, how how, how PV, uh, PVP works in the wilderness. Dude, bots are going to yep. get demolished, though. Can you imagine? Yeah. Luke dude, Keys just. Dragon hot. Bones. Dude, that's where I'm Dragon going. Bones are going to go up, boys. Yeah, I think they will. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, who's not going to kill the, the green dragon bots? Is that actually going to be worth it? Dude, you could like, farm. Let's say, let's say they got 20 dragon bones. They're 2K each. What's that? 40K? Is a dragon bone about 2K? 2.5K? Let's say it's 2K. Okay. So it's like you kill five of those. You got 200. Ah, uh, fuck. That's still shit. <laughs> that's no. 200K for you, killing five bots. <laughs> you, you, no, no, no. But that, that's, that's not bad for like a noob, though. A person getting I into PvP. But yeah, really, that's, that's, that's imagine, true, I guess. Imagine yeah. you're camping the people camping the green dragon bots. Because how many people are going to be down there? So I'm killing oh. the people killing them. And those people suck, man. Because they're just learning the PK. So you got like, oh, oh I cannot wait, bro. We're going to be farming mate. bots, farming farmers of farming bots. Holy moly. Yep. It's going to be, so gonna be a good time. Your chat has just informed us that dragon bones are 1.3k. <laughs> Very cheap. Oh, yeah. oh, they're, 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 they're all on all the fucking PVM drop tables. Like, just get them, get them oh, off more no. level. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Yeah, you got to clear your bones. And Zora. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so oh, feels yeah. I want to go back to some of this, but let's go straight into the ref since we're talking about that heavily right now, which is right here. So, um,. They have a lot of surveys again covering revs, and you could always go in like I understand how single plus. Goes. So it's twenty five percent still doesn't understand single plus. Feels bad, but we do scroll down. <laughs> <laughs> we do scroll down. There's a couple cool updates. I'm gonna go into a couple here. Uh, we'll be making the rev entrance in level twenty six wild one way only. So if you ever PK or go into revs, when you go in and out of the doors, it takes a bit. And if you're on a really bad ping world, it's pretty much impossible to PK someone if they go in. And out so now if you go in one way you're gonna have to go out the other way or teleport and that my friends is another like they're heightening that risk right the risk that needs to be in the wild it's it's not gonna be easy single plus everywhere one way entrances this is amazing not only risks though we'll be increasing the number of revenants available within the cave we'll be reducing the spawn timer by 30 percent we'll be adding a cooldown to their healing mechanic which was ass Oh my god, I'd be fighting a hobgoblin for 10 minutes for uh -huh. fucking, what, 4 rev ether? Like, please. Awful. Uh, yeah. We'll be adding unique <laughs> mechanics to rev dragons, orcs, and beasts. So they're more engaging, which is pretty cool. Uh, they're going to have be weaker to different combat styles. So we got more uh, influence for maces, bows, any rev weapons, possibly other builds. 
Apparently, the Amulet of Avarice will be upgraded to provide 20% more accuracy and damage to her revs. Who the fuck saw that coming, man? Whoever bought a ton of Amulets of Avarice is rich as shit now. No one saw that coming, man. And, of course, the standard drop rates will be increased by 50%. Finally. I think it oh should be tripled, God. but I'll take 50%. And then not Wait, even to um, mention what? the Revenant boss, dude, who has... Hey, uh, <laughs> Have you guys seen that He's picture? He's so excited. Just take a breath a second, bro. It's all good. Exactly what Ben is going to say. So, yo, yo, would 50% increase bring it back to normal or no? I don't know. Because I don't know no. how much they nerfed it. No. It needs to be they, more. They nerfed it. I how think, much like, did they nerf it? Honestly, I like, lot, at least like double would probably get it. I got to find that picture, dude. I swear that absolutely like fucking terrible. So you, they would need to double it. Because I feel like what it was before was fine. They just had to split it up. That was Boys. it. Boys. Right. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> well that's just the the model without the colors <laughs> yeah dude i guess you could say he's the head of revs um yeah, oh, yeah. I don't... he's the honcho <laughs> he's yeah the he's honcho, Revenant tea, honcho. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, if this boy spawns the, you better not have your back facing him all right he does double damage I just, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the appeal of this uh this uh flare boss or whatever okay not i haven't read up to this I point mean, so the rev boss, if you kill a rev, apparently there's a chance of it spawning, and then it alerts the whole cave that there's going to be, uh, there's a rev boss around, you got to go find it. Whoever does the most damage, because you can tack up, up to five people, I believe, on it, you get the kill. Um, I don't know what the loot's going to be. Um, I think it says... Uh, 3x the uh, normal drop. I there will be no it's new, nice. you know, you can add to the bot says you'll be rewarded handsomely with three rolls. So you'll get three rolls on the drop table, which is pretty cool. Of the Revenant Dragon. It, it says the Dragon drop dragon, table. Dragon, oh, sorry. The, basically the best roll, the yeah. best the best drop rolls. I what mean, here's the thing, though. The best Dragon item you get is the Skirt of Legs, which is 140. No, he mean, it, it mean, um, they're talking about the Revenant Dragon's drop. Oh, my God. Ah, right. I see. Yeah. Oh, my God. That, well, that's even worse. <laughs> that's even worse. Like, But it's the best one the, the, uh, out of all the revs. So, I mean, so you could effectively like shoot this boss. You could kill this boss and get like, you know, you could literally get a rune warhammer, some dragon bolt tips, and like twenty seven blood runes. Or or three crossbows. Yo, Maybe. Rice, do you think it'll drop oh, those uh, mage you think it'll drop some mage seeds? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. It'll be like Wait, hold up. Maybe like two? Maybe like two mage seeds? Maybe <laughs> Dude, why does that three. thing? Why does that picture go to that picture? Why does it look like it has a massive schlong? Oh, did you it catch your eye? Did that just catch what your eye, that bro? <laughs> that's that's that his tail. No, that's no, that's the little like. Mod Ash confirmed. Thing. That's, that's his that's fat his cock. Is that is that his special ability or something? He just like. Oh no, that's his tail. You. That's actually his tail. When you get him uh, to fifty percent damage, it grows. <laughs> <laughs> look at that thing, man! Holy shit! Bro, we're gonna get banned, man. What are you doing? Wait, oh, I, know, I, know, I, know, I know what I can. I know what I can drop. I can drop some soap. <laughs> yeah, some soap. Yo, it might drop some silk. Gracie Ben, no, you better watch out, brand, guys. <laughs> I, dude, I will say I like the concept of there being a revenant boss. Um, I obviously don't know what this boss is going to be like. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I feel like the drop to kill. Like, here's the thing: if this boss spawns, the entire cave knows where it is. Every peak air is gonna run straight over there. Is it really worth killing something? Which is worth probably not, but it'll be fun. dragons. It could die super like fast. Boss, yeah. So if I see mean, on it, boss. <laughs> you can only attack one. Someone's I mean, getting the kill. I don't think I the loot's true. good enough though. For, so yeah, I don't think the loot, so. The loot's so bad that I don't think it, it is. <laughs> it's gonna probably take like not very long to kill. But you'd know. want yeah. you, you from like an overall like ecosystem fun. perspective, you want it yeah. to take a long time to kill. Like, I want it to take a long time to kill because. You want to run to it and have a chance. Otherwise, like the only pe the only person that actually has a chance of killing it is the guy who spawned it. Well, you know, so, yeah, like, and you also build what's the, the point in it then. But you so it should, it should have way more drops. It should, it should honestly be like ten rolls. Like, I'm not even joking. Yo, I yeah, agree 100 yeah. percent in my brain. How I'm gonna do this boss content is I'm not even gonna go for the boss. Just as soon as someone gets half HP, they're dead. That's what I'm doing. That's that's what I'm looking forward to because you get to kill people while they're killing the boss. So yeah, true. But yeah, I agree. More I feel loot would be the good. loot needs to be yeah. better on this. Yeah, map. personally, I think fifty percent is probably not enough. I mean, they've already spread it so thin. I think like one area only has like two revs. You know, I think they should condense it a little more. You know, get like four mobs. They put more revs in there. Yeah, yeah, they are. Oh, they are. Oh, they are. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I feel like if each spot has like four revs, that'd be perfect. You know, because then you have multiple people splitting it up a bit. It's a bit fair. You know, you have like your clans looking around, but you also have groups of people that actually has an opportunity. 
to you know kill some reps before like a, a clan gets to you because then they can't stay in one spot the whole time they have to move around you know what would you guess which is like one of the big parts of what yeah. what went wrong last time because they didn't have to camp i mean they just can't one spot so. what, what would you guys feel about like a pet drop from this bad boy <laughs> oh, oh damn yo all the twitters are gonna roast you yeah, they're gonna be so <laughs> mad head in the wilderness they're gonna be so mad yeah they're gonna be so mad i mean i mean that's yeah. that's What's the Sorry. problem there? I don't get it. Like they hate it. They hate it, dude. They why do they, why do they hate a PvP people? Like explain to me why they hate PvP pets. Because like, old dogs don't learn new tricks, bro. They don't want a PvP. Too many spades lost, bro. But there's yeah, such a double the standard thing. there when every it is it, it is bro. Have in right. the game comes you're from right. PvM or skilling. Yeah, and it's like it. I, I don't see the issue. I really don't. Yo, see I, it. I personally, it's, it's not really a PvP I, pet though, is it? It's it's, a, it's a still a boss pet. It's like yeah, Ben and yeah. Artis isn't a PvP pet, is it? The little Venny thing. Yeah. The no, it's just Benny. they hate... The, but, the thing <laughs> is, but, the, but the thing is, Ven and Artis had a pet way before. <laughs> like, people were super bandwagoning, you know, the wilderness. But, like, the point the point is, is that um, all the, like, pet hunters, like, the you know, the hardcore ones that go for every pet, they super don't want it in the wilderness. They don't want any pets in the wilderness. Period. Them not like, wanting anymore. it makes me want it yeah. more. But, oh, but it is a double standard, mm. though. I personally don't care. I personally don't care if there's a pet in the wilderness, more pets in the wilderness, because, you know, it is it's it is a double standard. You're right. Like, why should you not, you know? It's like it's not like because you pet hunt, you get to say where pets come from, right? That does not... You know what I mean? You don't have that You don't have that right to, to decide like that anyway, so, mm. in my opinion. I feel, I feel like because it doesn't have a pet, They've already understood that it's too shit to justify having a pet because it only has like three loot rolls and no units and everything. Mm -hmm. So that's almost like an admittance that this isn't a real boss. It's just like something, yeah. a superior that spawns and you kill it quickly. Yeah, it's pretty scuffed. They, they would need to like give some seriously Yo, good loot. Like what if three like rolls in a drain table every 10 ass. of these, there's a chance to spawn an even bigger rev boss, right? And it's, it's like, like something tired dungeon. And you need like ten people to take it down, and then like one in ten of that, there's just like this fat fucking rev jet outside of revs, just one hitting people, right? So every you know what they should do, dude? They should add a revenant vault key to this boss's drop table, oh. and you can take that key and you can enter like a revenant vault or something like that, you where wait up for five minutes. <laughs> Yeah, like waves of revenants just come into you and you can literally go in there and just barrage them to death and then you're pretty <laughs> much guaranteed to get like two mil from that key or oh, something. Oh yeah, like actually that is quite interesting. So it's a one and That'd done? Is a one and done then is what you're saying? You go in there, you... Yeah, I so mean, you get yeah, one I mean, use out of it, make it so, <laughs> make it so it's uh, a tradable slash droppable item so PKers can also get it. Uh, and you get PK that, in there too. Oh, so, cool. okay, all right, that's pretty sick. I like mean, it. they could make it so if you go inside the vault, firstly, you can't teleport out from the vault. And uh, secondly, maybe, I don't know, probably not an instance. So I guess if you're not in a world, like, you know, you could see if someone's in there, maybe you can peek the door. Yeah. And it's like, if someone else has a key, they can also go in and mess with what you. What if it gave so, you one life in there? Like, you know, kind of like the death tax, <laughs> but you get one life. So if someone comes in there um, and you guys both have that have key, but if they kill us. you. <laughs> then you can't go back in because you lost your one life. You got to go farm some rev bosses, dude. Uh, well, I mean, you get one use of the key. Like, it will disappear when you go in. Well, I like my one Yo, life thing, man. Then it can yeah, be a hot yeah. spot. I mean, at this point, okay. if they want bonus ideas, they should just pay us because we shouldn't yeah, talk man. about any more bonus oh, ideas. Oh, yeah. We need dude, imagine the Revenant Vault. How cool would that be? Ima imagine if they just have it so there's like 20 imps that spawn in there, all come straight to you. You can like kill them with a chin. <laughs> But they have the same drop table as like the dragon, and then you're just surround like there's just loot what if all around. Dude, you. think about it. what if there's just a twisted <laughs> bow, right? And then it's next to a bush, awesome. right? And then like every ten seconds, another one spawns. <laughs> but stuff like this, right? Stuff like this is when I think back to when they added like uh, MA two and the best in slot magic cape comes from killing like three shit monsters. Like this is like the type of thing that they just waste like. PVM uh, updates on. Uh, like, right. what if they had like a like waves of revs, like 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 an, like, like a wilderness inferno for the best and uh, sort of mage cape? It's so fun. Like, I it know, pisses right? me off. They, you when, get when they, they, they waste I rewards pissed. on like stupid shit like that. Dude, I was pissed when when I only spent like thirty minutes to get my mage arena two cape. You know? Yeah. I was like, what? If, why did why why was the inferno so hard? <laughs> 
But this yeah, shit I was literally like, like make minutes. a plus thirty mage cape with like stars of a magic tree coming down it. Fuck it, let's uh, go. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm I was hoping for scene. some sick ass like mini game that you had to like yeah. do, you know, do. It's a joke. I, mean, I think that's more of, it, that's more of a PVMer's perspective of like it's yeah. ridiculous when they do stuff. Like, wait, I mean, it doesn't wait, even have to be as hard as Inferno, but it could have been so much better. Like, yeah, oof, way way better. I agree. I agree, man. Anything else we want to cover for the revs, though? I mean, 30% is faster. I think the revs, though, I think even with these changes, the revs are definitely better. Because, like, I think the increased spawn amount is huge, right? Because, like, it's so far, it's, like, so thinly spread yeah. out that even PV PVMers <laughs> don't even want to bother killing them, you know? Have you guys been looking yeah. at the Grand Exchange at all, like, pricing-wise? Because right here it says um, that, yeah. um, you know, well, Amulet Avarice, uh, right? 20% more damage. You can have all these rev weapons doing more damage. Uh, maybe you want to, you need like a bow for orcs or something, and then the mace for dragons. I don't know. I think that's how it's going to fall in, but it seems like. That not, does sound cool. Right? And it's, it's like rev yeah. items in general, if you get a lucky one, are going to be worth a lot more. Not only is the loot going to be better, but the rev drops in themselves seem to have more going on. So. Yep. Um, if yeah. I can add on as well, I recently did 10 hours of Revenants, like literally a week ago, uh, with a Cruel's Bow, and pretty much best in slot gear for it with being unschooled, and uh, I made on average 1.5 mil per hour. So right now I've been told that Zora's around about 2 mil an hour, so if they were to actually increase not only the loot by 50%, and they were also to make it so they spawn 30% faster... Revenants probably would be better money GP per hour than probably Zora, unless you're in best in slot gear, or it may even match that, which I think is definitely, I definitely think that's a good thing for sure, you were, considering the risk. You were making 1.5 yeah, I think that's pretty good. I made 1.5 mil an hour. How, for, bro? For 10 insane. hours, yeah. I made just over 15 mil. Wow, that's really um, good. I, I, I didn't, I mean, not I didn't try to costs. like... Not counting no, costs, that's including right? costs because oh. the uh, the cruels the cruels bow the bracelets like I had more effort at the end of it. Um, I didn't die a single time. That is one thing to counter in. Mm -hmm. I did take a Dinny B with me. It was beautiful. Yeah. And yeah. Most of the PKers, as soon as I quit, they just got off me. They're just like, yeah, you can go. Yeah, um, I don't give up. Baby. So I, I I didn't die and I didn't mess around with anti PK either. And I made a I made a flat one point five mil an hour, a little bit more. So like I I don't have the biggest of brains. But what's fifty percent on one point five mil? Like Reed, two. It's your time to shine. Two. Well, it'll be two point two five. Hey. Two point two five, and then <laughs> on top of that, you also get a thirty percent faster spawn rate and an extra rev in each one of the rooms. Like it's probably going to be yeah. three okay. mil plus an hour, so it's actually yeah. going to be good. Crossbows are yeah, going to go. Yeah, I think it's really good. That's one thing we haven't mentioned though. Is that I think it's in there that a lot of the. Uh, like the buyable drops, like uh, room bars and stuff, they're not going to be noted anymore. They'll be drops like ten Dude, room bars will just spawn I on the floor. So you have to use the av you have to use the avarice to Ooh. really hit those high levels. So you have to be schooled. I mean, you've got that's avarice, optional. Can that's you use an a crossbow? Yeah, do you know what I mean? But it's like another dynamic. Which I I, I think that's a really good update. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, I, I mean, might have even the... I think I just suggested that in one of the things like a while. Yeah, while and, and back, honestly, yeah. I think it'll be fine because the main problem was just getting locked down, and you can't have yeah. clans locking down them anymore because there's too many spots for them to do it. And the clans that locked so... down were ass at PKing, so you know what are they gonna yeah, do? Well, yeah, they just plus? pow you, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I have first experience seeing them do it. You know, it really came down to numbers, and even then. They couldn't always kill people. No, but, you know, it was no, like they sometimes. had a very low success rate. <laughs> they just always were in Discord. That was the thing. Yeah, no, they would log in fast though. That was the thing. They log in fast, but but yeah. Uh, here's a really cool no. thing we did skip over though. Um, about the Fountain of Rune, man. And I really wanted to cover this. So <laughs> Fountain of Rune is taking a small update. In order to tackle the risk-free usage of the Fountain of Rune, we will prevent players from logging out for three seconds after using a spell. So they're finally. What if you accidentally use a spell, I'm then you dead, bro. Been doing they're there. You'll be they're alking in the fountain rune because it's free runes, and they just get yeah, a bunch yeah, yeah, of GP, yeah. and they have auto loggers on, so you cannot yeah, get them. Awesome. Oh, ah. that's a good update. That's a good update. Yeah, oh, it's just a stop button. It's going to be great. So they can't just Yo, use that. That's, that's just an automatic thumbs up. Honestly, right? Ex ex expanding on that. Mm -hmm. per Look this is a personal pet peeve I have. I think. Personally, that it's fucking stupid that <laughs> logging out of the game is the escape tactic when you're walking around the date world. Does anyone right? else agree? Yeah, I was just about <laughs> like, to ask you guys, what would be another good use? Stupid. Like, you can like walk to Mage Bank with your mouse over logout and just 
X out of the client. <laughs> like, I don't know. I think I think that's fucked. I think it's stupid. It personally. is. And a lot of those yeah, it's like <laughs> breaking. It's kind of like breaking the fourth wall. You know. Kind yeah. Of shit. <laughs> there's, there's, I mean, there's, I really what would you like that. there to be? It's what would you like there to be instead? This right here. I, three I, seconds. I, right there, man. That'd be perfect. You three seconds before you can log out anywhere in the wild. I mean, you can still you telly. That would be a good. You can still telly, but logging out, man. I, like, I don't know. That, that would it's a massive change. It's a massive. Dynamic. It's a massive culture change. But mm. I think that will be good for good for the game if you introduce skill based escape routes. Like say, so anyone done like volcanic mine or anything like that. Say if you had like. um you could bring a water vessel and just like fling it across the lava. Stunt like you have to take a specific path through like some stepping stones, otherwise you fall in the lava and take a twenty-five hit splat and get reset or something like that. Like I just think escaping by logging out is so like cheap mm -hmm. and shit from a game perspective. But I, yeah, I wouldn't want it yeah. just to be removed with a nothing else provided for an option. Yeah, to yeah, maybe some like skilling incentive, like you said, some skilling incentive ways to escape. That'd be. Well, really nice. how I see it, because I've been asking for yeah. um, this for quite a while, is that I wouldn't want there to be a, a log out a delay everywhere in the wild, just like hot zones, right? Fountain Rune, it says right here, Fountain Rune, people charging glories are fine to log out, though, right? I would say, no, they should be in danger, too. Laren's Keys, man. You shouldn't be able to log out for three seconds, Laren's Key area. Uh, maybe uh, we got also telegrabbing the Zami Wines, noted Zami Wines, man. You should have a three-second log out there for spells. There's areas in the wild that you can just instant log out at and you can uh, manipulate or just abuse that power so hard. And I feel like just this little thing, this little thing that we just scrolled over real fast could be huge in just certain areas of the wild, right? At least, you know. I agree. Yeah, yeah just don't all the, all my clue don't, Just don't mess with my clue scroll stuff. No, <laughs> fuck the clue scrollers, man. I, <laughs> all clue scroll spots. I have nothing to give you guys anyways. <laughs> Spades. What you what you want? My loot keys of spades. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I can't wait to open up this loot key. Oh my god, it's a spade. <laughs> like yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be I'll be banking five spades at least every time. I can't wait for my five spades. <laughs> you already know some like clue scroll is gonna be there, and then he's just gonna like give you the loot key. You go to the bank, and it's just the chair and the rope sitting. Like, oh, <laughs> Maybe a watermelon <laughs> slice. Not even a chicken. Spade. <laughs> Bro, they'll protect item the spade and give you the rope. God, God damn it. Okay. Um, so right mm. below Revenant Caves, mm. they are also updating, and it's a pretty big update that is definitely necessary, is the Wilderness Slayer Caves. These hit the game, I think, last year. There was like five monsters in the cave to this point. Very narrow hallways. It was incredibly difficult to get a task from the Wilderness Slayer lady to get a task in there. I used a thousand Slayer points just to get a couple. And... The loot's ass. The loot is ass. It's full multi, and the, the key rate is barely boosted. So let's see what they're going to be doing to this Slayer Cave right here, man. They're going to be doing a lot, too. Uh, they're going to be taking some stalagmites out to make room for cannons. <laughs> yes, people love their cannons. Uh, they're going to be updating the drop table of all cave monsters. They're going to be unique, kind of like how in Zaya there's unique tables, man. There's going to be unique tables for Wilderness Slayer monsters. That's going to be amazing. Uh, new Slayer-only areas will be added for Abyssal Demons, huge, Dust Devils, Jellies, and Solo Missions. Dude, look at that. That's beautiful. Some <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say it, bro. You can't resist. I was waiting for Rakesy to just pipe up. Like, I know. <laughs> so it's going to be great. i never dirty like that. So these rooms that are going to be added are going to be huge, right? That's pretty much all, some of the best Slayer XP in the game right there. Wilderness-wise, I'm not sure how much XP that's going to be, but it could be a lot of money a lot of money indeed um mm -hmm. also huge to cover before we start talking superior wilderness slayer creatures so if you have bigger and badder unlocked you can get a superior in the wild and they will be dropping always a laren's key and an insult head and an item Ooh, on the wow. blighted drop table so lms has a lot of blighted items for rewards this is how they're going to be coming to the game through superiors it's going to be huge Huge, oh, finally. Sick. Some updates. Damn, cool. Okay, okay. I mean, this will definitely boost wilderness activity, hands down, like, 100%. Like, the loot keys, the buff slayer creatures, the, you know, the more... There's going to be so much to do. Increase reward. Like, damn, that those three things alone, forget all the other stuff, those three alone would boost activity so hard, for sure. Yeah. Huge. Yeah, Mint's career's back, basically. Mint's career's back, where'd he go? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> 
this is this is actually super exciting though man like <laughs> I, I i genuinely can't wait to see all the pk and content that comes out of this with like opening these keys like keys mm. are always fun to see it's yeah. like th this is gonna be really nice for the wilderness i feel and like that that definitely is a nice thing there as well oh yeah you're you're 100 right not only Yo, am i seeing for the homies pvp updates the we're seeing pvm updates that are fun right this this sounds fun getting laren's keys very often high risk more reward revs fun it's not just for pkers man pvmers are getting some updates too it's just in a riskier area you know they got to put on their yeah. big boy pants but yeah they all sound really yeah. i mean fun. honestly they can't complain they already have like 20 bosses they can do that's risk-free they so, shouldn't you know, complain they at all complain. there's there's no you shouldn't hear and, and and that's coming from someone that pvms the whole time like right. you know what i mean like y'all can't complain seriously so i've actually got a question real quick for our solo mission so okay. a big part of the reason we wanted to have you come on isn't because of your beautiful blue eyes or your luscious oh. long neck Ooh, it was yeah. actually because you tweeted out saying i wasn't entirely sure when i read your tweet whether you were upset with the blog or whether you were happy with it. It was kind of like, I was trying to read between the lines, but I couldn't try to figure out like where you were coming from. Because I know that you were in the call with Jmods before this got posted. So my question to you, if you can talk about it, is were you happy with this blog? Were you disappointed? And you also mentioned that none of the things that you content creators mentioned in that call were added or taken away from this blog. So is there any insight you can give us into that? Well, the main reason I tweeted that is because uh, so we so we basically got invited to just preview the blog, and they just showed us the blog on Discord in a call, and we were like, we said, we said a few things like what we thought was good, what was bad, and like, but it was always understood that that would have no influence over what was going in the blog, <laughs> and it's exactly the same. They produced it, but like I was just get, like getting a little bit annoyed because oh, I feel, well, I feel not annoyed, not annoyed, but it was just a bit. Right? It was just a bit short. No, no, not about the content, but it's just a bit short-sighted to like tweet out, "Oh, these people have seen the blo these people have like they, ruined singles for yeah. all the singles clans." But it was oh. like, I, it wasn't like like that whatsoever. So I was like, "What the fuck? Like, I'm not taking the blame for something you think is bad." Uh, wait, wait. So, so Jagger actually tweeted bro. out. Were they that's the ones that tweeted out the no, no, picture no, no, no. of you content creators? No, it was like a, a few. A few of the creators did, and they were like, "We're so excited for this." And, um, uh, like, so like, so, so, like reading, guys... reading between the lines, it looks like oh, Torvester solo mission, pure spam, and all them have just ruined <laughs> the world. Who into the wild? Thing. But like, obviously, <laughs> oh, dude, like, my pet, still... like my oh. like, so I was just, I was just like, what the fuck? Like, I'm getting there, like tagged and shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Mate, like I saw the funniest fucking tweet. It was Thanks this so is what, dude. Mission. I was solo. Well, what's up with this, huh? <laughs> I, <laughs> I laughed out loud dude i was rolling on the fucking floor there was a single p care i think it was probably like a member of raw i can't remember and it was a picture of all you guys in the cool the j mods and it just said we are doomed <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking dying, yo, dude. Yo, this, yo, yo, we should we should put this part near near the beginning because I think he's he's trying to clear his name. It wasn't his fault. No, no, it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. That's why I tweeted like some. Oh, yo, that should but, be a highlight for Behemoth. Right? There you go. Yes. There you go. We, we should have said it at the beginning. Maybe we can get it to the beginning. Okay. I just wanted to ask though because I, I read your tweet and I I really couldn't tell. I knew you were a little bit annoyed about something, but I wasn't entirely sure like yeah, what well, it was well, you were annoyed about. That's the, that's the point. I'm not. So for me personally, my, my actual opinion about singles plus all over the worldy, I'm like on the fence about it. Like I, I think singles teams, like they may have a place in this game. I'm not saying that like they're a terrible thing. Like, I just think I have the opinion that a lot of people have is like, you just need to make it profitable in the worldy. And um, it, even in the, in the call, I defended singles teams. Cause I said, I said something like, um, the thing is with the wilderness, singles teams somewhat balance the risk of the wilderness because, like, that's part of PK and like, you you always might get hit by like a massive group of people, and that's why you need to bring twelve brews and not like six brews and six anglers. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's so much easier to survive when you've got combo food, and that's part of what keeps the uh, deep wilderness ecosystem active is that you have to bring full brews because otherwise you can get fucked up by a team potentially. So singles teams somewhat provide that balance. And I said, if you're going to make it all singles plus, are you going to try and bring back that balance by like maybe introducing like a 
a few more powerful weapons or something like that? Have you thought, basically just, have you guys thought that if you're taking away the top of the food chain, it's actually potentially making it more boring for all the people in the middle because like they'll have combo eats and people just enjoy Deep Wilderness became a full breeze. Right. Yeah. That was, that, that's, what I, that's what I said. So I defended oh. somewhat that like stance of teams. And like, I, I also said that it's, it's a bit sad that people can't go out and learn and PK and fuck around with their mates. But Yo, at the end of the if... day, singles plus or singles, yeah. I, don't, I don't really mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, you know how like obviously the wilderness has, has different levels, and what if they just base it off of the level that you're at? You know, for like if you're in singles, but you're at forty plus or something, you know. Yeah, well, that's like, kind of what we just have keep now. It normal. We, we have singles plus in the rev caves, and to be honest with you, it was probably a smarter decision to like roll out all the other changes and see the balance between like what's active. I, I mean, actually, I. I Maybe that's a bit bullshit because when you watch any videos, when you watch any streams, the most active areas are the revs at the moment for PK versus PK. Yeah. So Jagex see that. Jagex will see that and be like, oh, why? it's probably because it's singles plus. Fuck it, let's put singles plus everywhere. And that, that's their, that's their Which, logic. It's not necessarily true, yeah, but it could be. Yeah. I could see that because single plus, I, I was saying earlier, is not going to make or break the wild, man. It's, it's reward. Yeah, it's not, yeah. I think we all agree. More reward, yeah, more the people reward in the wild, sure. whether it's yeah. PV single plus or not. Um, but yeah, I I, I like I how you defended things, the right. Oh, what 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 race? What, three right, things. it's it's either you do it through rewards or you do it through hyping up PvP in this game, right? Which is through like competitiveness and stuff like that. Yeah, they but really we we're it. not having that one. That one though, it's like we're we're so <clears> not tried. realistic though. To be fair, you know, Didn't I don't remember. think they're gonna have an actual competitive scene for a long time because Jagex, you know, they just they they're, just they're, they're scared them. at this point. If, yeah, also, people have to put themselves in Jagex's <laughs> perspective. They've tried with PvP, and what's what's happened? Devman mode was an absolute fucking car crash from DDoSing, all like the glitches and everything. <laughs> Terrible PR. Bounty Hunter promised for years. They tried twice, and they fucking had to remove it from the game. Like as a J yeah. as a J mod yeah, now, it, are you? It's been a long like, time. Like if you're in the boardroom and someone's piping up, like let's have some PvP updates. Like you're why like, the fuck are we gonna do that? It's, it's like yeah. of shit. <laughs> Increase <laughs> rewards. rewards. Do you know, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, on the other side, you have Dead Man did massively do a lot for the game in terms of exposure and all that sort of stuff. And I I think PK updates really do have a place in this game, but I can understand why they don't happen because they're more of a risk than taking the safe option of doing a new quest doing a new league, doing a new boss. But that's boring, and that ultimately will kill the game if they stop taking those risks. They need, yeah, they need, yeah, they they need to take risks. Yeah. That was beautiful, dude. Yeah. I like I'm gonna, mm. That's my ringtone now, bro. Take some <laughs> risks, Jagex. Risk. Come on, man. Shit-ass, wild-ass. Just do it, you know? <laughs> Green screen yourself. Be like, take the risk. <laughs> yeah, we That'd definitely need some, man. And right now, we kind of yeah. see the risks they're taking. And, um, you know what, man? Not not the worst They're kind of playing it. Yeah, yeah. The drop rates are playing it a bit safe. But, uh, I mean, the single plus is definitely, like, probably the most controversial thing, in mm -hmm. my opinion. I think loot definitely. keys are actually insane, loot though, for, for PK. Mm, yeah, my God. Yeah. I mean, because, it's, like, it's, people it's usually... nice for there to be a change as well. I think the wildy has been the same for so long now. Sorry to cut you off, Reed, but, like... Yeah. Yeah. I really do stand by. Back in the day, the wildy changed every year, like in such a significant way. PvP, like all of a sudden, you're in the bounty hunter creators. Next yeah. thing you know, it's like bounty hunters, like PvP worlds. You get the wildy back, mm -hmm. and then they start adding loads of things to the wildy. And it's just like it was always evolving and adapting. And I think as a PK era that PK through that era, like that's what made it interesting and sure there were updates which were shit there were updates which were good but whatever happened i was always engaged with it like i never stopped pking because one of the best places that i made absolute bank was in the red clam wars portal because all the wells went in there and half of them didn't even know they were risking their items i just went there and enjoyed it you know but it's the point that there was just so many options for pvp and I think that even quite a few of the non-PVP risking activities, whether it be mini games, they were also quite fun and engaging. And it's like, we just don't have that. And change isn't necessarily a bad thing. And hopefully the wildy just continues to adapt over time. I, I feel like at the, bo the bottom line of all of this, this is some solid change that's coming to the wildy. Mm -hmm. And hopefully it's just going to be like an avalanche from here. And hopefully they can build from this. Hopefully they have 
something down the line that they're thinking of, which is going to involve single plus, or maybe that's going to be included somehow. I don't know. I but agree. I don't think it's a bad yeah. thing to change the meta at all. I think they should keep PKers on their toes and uh, just do what they have to do, add things in and experiment yeah. with it. Yeah, like Solo Mission said, the reward aspect of Wilderness the past year or two has been sorely lacking. So so I, I think in that aspect with the loot keys and the buff rates, buff spawns, like th those three things are like massively uh, a big, big like positive uh, activity increase. Like mm -hmm. you'll definitely see a lot more PKers out there. I mean, obviously, they're going to hit hotspots. You can't always complain like, I should see PKers everywhere. But that's not the point because th there has to be some spots that are like, you know, very attractive, right? And, and that's where most of the activity is going to be, you know, at the end of the day. But, but yeah, it's going to be really good. More activity overall, like massive. Yeah. If, sure. I, if I had to guess, too, all this stuff that I'm looking at, um, I, think, I think we're going to see a very active wild. Uh, obviously, if they have more loot buffs that are in the future, even more so. If they don't have any, then I do think we will probably revert back after a month or so. But uh, the reason I say that is because a lot of these updates, I don't even just see me PV or PKing. You know, this ref stuff, I'll be PVM. This right here, I'll be grinding this boss out. Wilderness Slave, <laughs> I want to test out the loot keys, boy. I really do. That looks amazing. Some superior monsters. I mean, not only videos, but just content I'd actually like to grind out. Obviously, I'm going to PK. Back. In all these areas, but I mean, there's just so much. Yep, there's so much. I mean, revs revs are gonna be. I I think they're gonna be a solid three mil an hour based oh, yeah. off of what I made recently. Like yeah, it's and actually without, gonna and, be a good money maker. Yeah, mm -hmm. and without the clans locking down every single spot anymore, that's gonna be such a big like I think dynamic change that a lot of people would love to see. You know, for yeah, sure. agree, yeah. agree. And, and I mean, of, also. Dude, I mean, I, I, if I think I may... the clans will be back. Just, I just don't think they'll be as oh, you over can't get rid of clans, over dude. oppressing. You know, yeah. I just don't think they can lock it down like they used to, which is, Bro. you know, good. Right? They, they get, won't because it, it was multi clans that were doing that. It's just single yeah. clans now, so it'd probably be a bit more active. I, I mean, like... it's also more spread out, so it kind of makes it yeah. hard for them to lock down any anything really. So. Nah, they... I think overall, That's like, gonna good. it's gonna be good stuff. I think for sure. overall, like the changes that they've done here. I like most of them. I think that they're pretty good. Oh, I don't well, really positive, have a problem. Yeah, I don't really have any problems with any of this at all, and I'm just excited to see how this actually ends up mm -hmm. because uh, I think change is good, and uh, I think that they've definitely incentivized people to not only go into the wildy to kill people, like bots and such, with the, uh, with the key update, but it's also going to be interesting to see PVMers go into revs because like, if you're anything like me, I mean, I bank once an hour at revs, so if I go to revs with this, it's like, I'm going to have at least 3 mil on me. And, like, that's pretty much worth it from any single PKer's perspective mm. to kill. Because, like, the best moneymaker in game, God knows what it is now, but TOB was, like, 5 mil an hour or so. So it's like, if you know you're almost guaranteed to get, like, at least a mil and possibly, like, 3 mil plus from a, from a PVM or at revs, like, why wouldn't you go there and kill that person? It's going to be super active, I think. Yeah, there's something mm, for everybody, yeah, man. Sure. There really, <clears throat> really is, bro. Oh my God. I can't believe this shit's coming from the game. Apart from the single team. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? no, no, the honestly, thing is, this is, this is a very thought out. If you're in a single team, honest. bro, and you can't PK with what's given to you, then what were you even doing in that single team? Were you the guy just talking shit on the side, trying to make that guy not see his HP bar? Yeah, that's the thing, though. Bro, it's the but hype not, necessarily, not necessarily people talking shit on the side, but like even just getting the focus switched to you so you can Devo somebody. And that's just bro. what some people enjoy doing. Oh. And like, there, there are, it is interesting to have like team versus team mechanics. Like, single team mechanics are like an interesting thing. But... Is it healthy for the wilderness? Who actually nah, knows? Honestly, probably not. Overall, for the wilderness, probably not. If they're in a single yeah. team I and mean, they can't PK alone, you know what they can do? They can sit on this. All right, because that's that's all dude, I was waiting for, <laughs> man. I I feel like also with single teams, it's like they just adapt in a it, way. It's right? like you it's said. almost like a single team issue instead of it being like a world issue for the entire wilderness. Because like back when I was in single teams, the whole point of being a single team was that you had somebody to back you up in case a clan hit you, right? And you would have, like, prearranged run-ins with other clans where you'd be, like, 10v10, no raggers, no tanks, and you'd fight each other. Like, it's completely changed. Like, I don't really see run-ins happening with clans now 
probably due to like a huge ego issue between the clan yeah. leaders where you know they're not willing to give up oh we're the worst clan we're the better clan whatever they all try to come out on top like you see this on twitter it hasn't changed in like 15 years boys <laughs> I'm telling you, man, there's more to life than running a good PvP clan, but hey, you do you. Good. But it's like the dynamic of that has completely changed. It's not really so much clan versus clan now. It's like if there is a clan versus clan moment, one of the clans is just like, get out, boys, dip, teleport out, let's go, let's go, yeah. let's go. It's more of like, you know, 10 dudes on one poor guy. Like, that's pretty yeah. much it, you know? It's Don't changed. It. It's not how it once was. <laughs> what if what if what if maybe there was like a clan wars mode where you could have a singles run in stakes for GP or some shit like that? Right. That'd you be just sick, but, but I don't think they do but then, it. But then would the teams actually do it? I don't know. Solo just wants to get chased by ten run. dudes. That's why he's just he just <laughs> Mate, yeah, but the mechanic, it, like that was that would be fun enough. if you had like, two, like if you had like two single teams like I don't know how you could like almost simulate like a single team fight running. You could have each person tank that, the that, dude, that, that and could they be, could that all could talk be really shit. Good, but <laughs> would people do it? I don't know. But I feel like if you're taking away the whole wellness from that, maybe you should. They should provide that as somewhat of an option. Yeah, just like have a, a NPC that you can set up something with, and then they you guys load into like a map. And well, just just in Clan Wars, you can you just have just, a singles yeah. mode. You could just fall on an NPC. Yeah. But, then, but then I guess that you have ten people. Why wouldn't they just all? Have ten one v ones all of a sudden. Why would, here's, why would here's you have the like fallings? Because they don't know one v one. Here's bro. the thing: we're trying to solve an <laughs> yeah, issue which <laughs> isn't actually an issue. So yeah, we're trying to very, solve. Yeah. We're trying to solve the problem of we're taking away single clans from being able to have run-ins with single clans when that doesn't even happen. No. So it's yeah. like, yeah, or at least exactly. if it does, it's so ill. Like it just doesn't happen very often. So yeah, it's they don't, like they don't that would that be anymore. fun. I think yeah. that would be really fun, but unfortunately, it's more of like a single clan ego mentality over than it actually being a problem. Yeah. But as you can imagine, like they are quite outspoken on the subject because you know they don't want their advantage to be taken away. No. Which, speaking of, it's like in single plus, what? Why can't they just spec transfer who whoever's on the kill? Like, why don't, why don't they just do hard. that? Hard. I think that'd be if but they're attacking back, that, it apparently. would be impossible. Um, but I mean. Yeah. I guess, but like they could still do it, and that would just be another way of dumping specs. No, you just I don't think you can transfer I don't your think boy. You can do that. Is that not a mechanic which is in no. PvP right? Uh, they they, they got they got rid of that. Yeah, wow. Because uh, people okay. remember when, remember when people used to do like um, yeah, like old Blazers people used to do that in PvP, and they'd be G more than like seven times. In Dude, <laughs> so much G they, it happened to me. <laughs> It happened to me in pre-OC, uh, Bone Soares, he actually came on the podcast, and uh, he was the first person I saw do it, where he would have fans spec transfer him, oh. and then he would grassy or Dragon Claw like 10 times. Oh yeah, the um, uh, is it Bomb Block, that video, that famous video, where he's doing like sure. multiple like, I remember that. Crassies. I don't think it you can be. spec transfer in single, you'd have to be in multi, right? Or no? I don't, think you sure. can, I don't think you can even do it in a dangerous area anymore. Because yeah. otherwise people would Before do it. Before you could, like, I think. I think you could back in the day, but they got rid of it. Yeah. Dude, I'm, pre I I'm pretty sure. Because otherwise, so... otherwise people would do it. Like, why wouldn't you do it right now? Man, I, I remember it. this, right? Shout out to Bonesaw. But, like, I was PKing in Varrock Center because I used to just hybrid. And he uploaded the video, which was titled, like, Killing Rushers with Spec Transfer or something like that. And he killed me. I wasn't rushing. I was looking for hybrid fights. And I obviously left a very, you know, well-worded, critical comment on his video. Uh -huh. And I got blocked. And I think I'm still blocked on his YouTube to this day. <laughs> oh, didn't, didn't you get him on the podcast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I should have pulled that up. I, I totally forgot. I should have uh, mentioned You were scared, bro. I think I'm he blocked was shaking. on his to this day. <laughs> but he, he, dude, he, he killed me for our rooms. I was PK and it, it, I was just read the title. It was like, killing rushers. I was like, mate. I was hybriding. Like, where, where's the <laughs> rush? You can't demolish, boy. Uh, I was really mad. I'm not gonna lie. You're My disrespect. Old but yo, going <laughs> going back to the whole like single clans idea. I liked when Racy said that. When even when they do fight, they run right because you'll have a single clan filing on like maybe a bait right that they don't know is a bait, and then another single clan will log in full max, and the other one will just panic. And you can literally, like, the bait will be in their Discord. You could hear them go, oh, shit, Zestrel, oh, log out. And you just got, like, all these people scattering. So even when you bring these clans together, they don't fight. They just bait each other, right? Yeah. They don't They do not do anything, man. It's been no. the same. Back in the, back in the IRC days, 
it's like if one of your boys died to a clan that was a rival clan, they'd all join the IRC and be like plus one team fucking authority or plus one team of fort like havoc or something it's like so that, and then weird. they'd leave. And it's 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 just it ain't a problem. It's a problem that they have that actually doesn't affect the rest of the wildy. So I don't see that as like a global issue at all. It's like if that's what like you enjoy, niche, you niche issue in that. it's just so weird. I don't think that's an actual issue at all. It's so at least multi clans fight people, right? They like call shit out and they're like actually taking damage. It's just single clans. I don't know, man. It's just such a weird thing. Well, they 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 should be able to adapt, and if anything, right, they can just use clans oh. in in a way that's meant to be Easily. like, which is multi. Because a lot of those single clans, I don't actually understand. Maybe it's just so they can try to get good loot, but I think more it's for like Twitter clout because they love posting like even like ten mil kills. Right, they're like, well, cleared this guy for like a staff of the dead. It's like, who gives a shit, right? But they'll post that all the time. So it, I don't even think it's loot. I think it's just they love that little. The reactions they get. I mean, on Twitter, it's man. it's hard to say, dude. Like, you can't just throw everybody into the same no. basket. There, yeah, yeah. No, you're 100 percent right. That, I I know people that have screenshots from like before bounty hunter creators, and they just love seeing the archive of PKs. Mm. And there's something about that that I really like as well. But you know, when it goes to Twitter and it's all that, like that's yeah. the whole ego. Sorry, that's what I've been looking at because a lot of it's super toxic. They'll be like, they literally release like a leaked data Discord blog of like voice reactions of them dying and then some dude crying. Well, you got me for a bill, and dude. like it gets <laughs> real deep, bro. So that's what I'm looking at. Not they're all not it's the same. Not, it's just sad. It's though. not all single clans, but for the most part, it's just a it's cesspool. The of, like, main ones. Toxicity. It's the that's main all ones. it is. But it's it's really not an issue that we have to concern no. ourselves. Yeah. I was, I was, my point was like, just like spare a thought for the people that aren't ultra toxic. They just yeah. enjoy the single clanning mechanics. And yeah. they're the ones which have been PK in this whole time in the wilderness. And they just feel like they got completely shafted. So yeah. but like at the end of the day, there are good people in there as well. so there's definitely fun. good people. I'm just yeah. talking about like the main ones, you know, that's the ones I follow. No, I agree <laughs> though. I agree. There's definitely some good people and they don't always fall in like that. And they just PK with some buddies and that, with this single plus update is gone. <laughs> Go to multi. That's that's all you got, man. It's completely gone. Yeah. But um. Right. Yeah. We, is there anything else to cover on this? Uh, I mean, unless I, you I guys they did they yeah. did something to the bulwark. Yeah. Unless you guys want to cover uh, the bulwark. <laughs> yeah, we can quickly cover that. Yeah. So they actually buffed the bulwarks. Yeah, they they buffed the bulwark. I think everyone was asking for a buff, actually, right? Like, were you guys asking for an attack speed damage buff to the bulwark? I know I was. I was hoping they make it tankier, <laughs> cheaper, uh, easier to get, uh, two handed, each one on each hand, dude. So I'm glad they're finally buffing this thing. It's too weak. Uh, <laughs> dude, have you actually heard what they're doing to this bulwark? <laughs> you want me I to, love this. Update. You want me to read dude, it? I love this. I I know it. I've memorized this shit. All right, let's hear, Listen it. Here. let's hear it. Right. So. I wanted them to have some sort of like something to do with like a tanky have tank is something which is almost viable when it comes to PVM. This is like a PVM thing here. I see as so effectively what they're doing is they're making the bulwark down from a seven tick to a five tick, which is effectively the same as a God sword. And um, they're doing something they've never done before. So the max hit on the bulwark is determined by defense. The higher the defense you have, the higher you hit with that thing. And I think the max hit, uh, 46. You can hit a 46 with a bulwark. Exactly what I was asking for. Here in the game. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Yeah, yeah, but exactly what I, I was this, asking this for. This is like, they're setting up for something, and I'm praying this is for some sort of raid mechanic. And it's also talking about the special effect now reduces whoever it hits by like minus, I think it's minus five in offensive stats. Like, dude, this is cool. This is a new mechanic that we have came into the game. Like, and it actually makes the bulwark still kind of useless right now, but it makes it a little bit more of like a, an attractive useless. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's still yeah. But it may I'm one day be worth something. Yeah. I'm really hoping this is for the future because I, I still see this as it's pretty dead content, really, because DPS is king everywhere, pretty much. I just yep. hope that there's in Rage 3 there's a, there is a designated tank role that you can't just cheese your way out of with DPS. Yeah, no take eating, no red redemption yeah. crap, you know? Like, yeah. literally, the p first person to attack the boss, like, gets absolutely fucked if they don't have 400 defense. <laughs> yeah, awesome. yeah that's interesting. Hey, on the bright but side... They're not, are they, they're not changing the defense, though, right? 
No, of course not. That'd no. be bad. That, uh, why would no, you even no, own no, a they, shield? They, they're, they're, carrying on, they're carrying on with their nerfs from the equipment rebalance. So they're, they are reduced. I think they are reducing some of the defenses still. Oh, okay. Okay. I think, okay. That, I think that's what the section's about. They're, they're just mm. saying. The compensating. This, this somehow, is, right? I keep this in mind, PvP, as we are still nerfing Black Dehyde. The a bit. new detain. Like the, the new design retains the existing nerfs to the bulwarks, defensive stats, but allows it to better yeah. fill the tank roll. So it's going to have its existing negative magic defense. But other than that, I don't think they're going to touch it. Um, but then the Dehyde stuff's getting nerfed too, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, we I, can, think, I think, I think right they, they're, re they're retaining the proposed nerfs. So it hasn't actually been nerfed yet. Oh, really? Is oh, yeah, I mean? yeah. 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 I think mm -hmm. that's what they mean. Wait, mm -hmm. let me, let me yeah, because the equipment rebalance Wait. hasn't fully hit yet. Mm. Like blowpipe and like uh, dehyde and those things have not changed yet. Only only like dragon weapons, the safer stuff they've they've already done. Yeah, the stuff that everyone it. wanted. So <laughs> yeah, I uh, like the really old mega <laughs> miner stuff. So I, I think everyone knows how I feel about the bulwark, right? And I was kind of yeah. roasting this updated to my chat, and my chat kept telling me they're trying to open up a new meta for bossing, making it that a defense role actually exists, and they have some def you know attack power. I'm like, hey, that's great, but why the just don't let it go in the wild, bro. Just, you know, as soon as you jump over the ditch, the shield disappears, right? And I'll be happy. You can do whatever you want, PVM-wise. Because all I'm thinking is now, if I'm attacking someone and I get next to them, they're going to be slamming the shit out of me with their shield, bro. I don't know if they're going to be hitting anything, but <laughs> da, 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 you know, that's what I'm thinking. And if they're tanky as hell, they're going to be hitting harder. So It's going to be a, like a god sword swing, and they'll probably be hitting you like 20, yeah. well, probably, maybe 30 through prayer. Who knows? Fast? Like, fast they're they're max, like, like 20, know. maybe 20. Oh, well, let's just say I was, I went to bed, I wake up, I read this update, and I go, why, God? Why would you do this? Why would you, like, <laughs> well, I, next, God? Next video, PK with a Din's Bulwark and Max. <laughs> you already know that like, yeah. frames right there. Told <laughs> that <laughs> Amenity would be that's, great. That's like, that's the theme of this blog, though. It's promoting people fighting back, and that introduces them to the PvP ecosystem more than just sitting there doing nothing. Yeah, tanking like, with, with, that, like with, me. with like the yeah. skill tricking changes, like making it so. Oh, I should fight back now. Even singles plus, like, yeah. Like, why the fuck? Back. Why the fuck not just bolt back? Like taking a crossbow is worth it to bolt back. Like it's so yeah, age yeah. when you're trying to like, I, kill somebody mm -hmm. and the bolt. You. Exactly. I can't wait. Increase your chance to escape because you can't that, just like. And it really and it really will increase your chance of escape because like exactly. if you're trying to tank twenty worldy levels, like if you're bolting the PK and they're having to brew, then it actually does make a difference. Oh yeah, you yeah, should always should, fight yeah. back. Always fight yeah. back if you get attacked. Straight from a yeah, it'll encourage a much man. more better dynamic that way for sure between mm -hmm. like predator versus prey because then you you want your predators to actually fight back a bit too you know but overall yeah. i hate, yeah. I hate I mean, this prey, sorry i absolutely hate it so i know a lot of you guys mm -hmm. like it but i hate it it's awful why would they do this <laughs> take it out of the game bro if anything i never thought it would get a faster attack speed maybe more damage but faster it's a huge shield what are you gonna like fucking vibrate that Listen, shit or something man i'm gonna i'm gonna just be i'm gonna level with you bro oh if no worried, if you're worried that you're gonna get taken out Okay, so worried i'm Maybe terrified pvp is not your forte my friend wow. <laughs> all right i'm quitting it's over i'm making an iron I, man I, dude. Can't wait, dude, I can't wait until the mason clans just take bulwarks and smite you with a bulwark <laughs> 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 just smashing you with those big old doors man can you do that is that is I mean, that his new special attack? It maces. No. <laughs> i was gonna say that'd be terrifying bro can you imagine like 40 dudes of bulwarks logging in <laughs> that's literally like oh. what he goes to sleep and that's a nightmare right there. Like, bang, bang, he just bang, bang, wakes up and all in, his eyes next to his face. They're all in Torags, bro. I'd probably think of Solo, actually, if I saw him in Torags, man. Video, the Torag Warriors. <laughs> oh God, yeah. Dude, it'd be, man, it'd be so cool to get like a squad together, all with bulwarks and like crazy defense, and just go and just find people in Morty and like smack them down with it. Well, That would actually <laughs> be so fun. One of my biggest things about this Wildy blog is it's missing the wilderness hotspot we were all waiting for. Like we, I think a lot of us hope that they bring revs back or they make an area where it'd be multi and you could bring your friends and you'd get loot all the time. But other than the wilderness Slayer cave, and I don't think that's going to be the hotspot. I really don't. We don't have really a, a beautiful multi area to make bank and PK with friends. So sadly, I don't know where we do the bulwark idea. Just find a random naked dude in 50 wild and just give him the time we of his could, life. We could kill people. We could kill people charging glories, man. <laughs> it would be glorious. Okay. It would be a good time. Anyways, boys, I think we've covered All right. pretty much the main parts. And I would say the most significant parts yeah. of this, uh, this blog definitely, here. Definitely. Definitely. So I, I think on that note, what I'll say is, uh, boys, 
a thousand likes, a thousand new subs, <laughs> and we will give away 100 mil of rice cups bank okay which is a drop in the ocean re you're no, so it's stupid. a lot of money man. It's a lot of money, okay. give means... them a tebow a thousand subs yeah dude, where's the tebow at you got a couple of those no, don't you mil. no no soul mission <laughs> said 100 mil so i'm gonna stick with that all right so <laughs> next time we do it then tebow is what you're saying tebow tebow next <laughs> hey tebow how about tebow for 10k subs Yo, maybe, maybe if we reach like 50k or something. Oh my <laughs> god. Rakes, he's trying to <laughs> dig his hand right Dude, in a rice cup's bank. Yeah, yeah, he's I really think, trying to sell me out, bro. Like, I think, damn. you know, I, I think if we said 50k subs for Tebow, sure, but we're a long way away from yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. You guys should tell your friends about this podcast. Anyways, solo mission, my friends. Where can the people find you, man? What are your socials? Dude, he's already so famous. Uh, people can find me. On the second floor of the Slayer Tower. There we go. Hey, my dude, my dude. Dude, everybody knows who Solo Mission is. Yo, Quite sorry, frankly, sorry. I, I, I was amazed he even follows me on Twitter at this point with his recent blow up. I'm just yeah. like, Jesus, oh, he remembers for, me. <laughs> yo, for us Americans, he means third floor. Just saying. Oh. Yeah, I, 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 I re as soon as I said it, I realized, <laughs> shit, that's not even right. Am I like a blood belt now or some shit? <laughs> yeah, you're a blood belt to us Americans. All right. Uh, okay. I'll hit Thanks this for having me, boys. It, it was, was great. great. Yeah. That was a good. Yeah, that was a really good one, honestly.